November 9th. The world ended 20 years ago today. What a strange, awful anniversary to celebrate. 20 years, and this city is still in ruins. 20 years, and the citizens are still dying on the streets. 20 years, and I'm no closer to fixing my mistake. As I look on the horizon today, I see many laborers going to their lottery jobs. They cling to hope that the ticket they earn will win them the vaccine they need to survive. Green Lung continues to take lives every day, but the people of this town are stubborn, resilient. They refuse to give up in the face of death. Dealing with the reactor won't take too long. I'm starting to see why this was a lottery job. This better be worth it. Oh my god. Hello? Can you hear me? Took you long enough. I thought I was raving food. It's only been, uh, what, a day now? We need to get you out of here. Hey, 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 calm down, kid. I'm fine where I am. Who are you? They didn't tell you? I'm afraid not. Uh, typical. Aristocrats don't give a rat's ass about anyone else till their lights go out. I'm sorry. I don't quite follow. Did Tiberius send you to fix the reactor? Yes. Oh, I see. I'm your replacement, aren't I? It would seem so. Certainly hope you have better luck than I did. So, what happened to you? Are you blind, kid? I came down here, I was about to get the reactor running, and there was a tremor. All hell breaks loose, and now I'm crawling my way to the Reaper. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't be comes with the territory. But then, uh, you should know that, right? Is there anything you need? Anything I can help you with? Uh, I'm a dead man. Even if you went for help, I'd be gone by the time you got back. There's nothing at all? Can I do anything to make you more comfortable? You're nice, kid. But nice will get you killed. Just do your job. I'm not going anywhere. Don't move. I'll be back. Your sense of humor needs some work, kid. Oh, sorry. He's got nothing else that can help me. This reactor looks worse for wear. Um, mister? Huh? Don't move. I'll be back. I'm not exactly going anywhere. It's not budging. I don't know how to fix this on my own. Um, mister? Huh? I think this reactor needs a code, and I don't have it. Do you? You don't do this type of work often, do you? Not a reactor, no. I'm more experienced with cars, pumps, easy fixes. So a lottery worker, huh? Who's the vaccine for? Why do you care? <clears throat> Hang on. You look familiar. Do I know you? I'm a mechanic. I've got a shop just outside town. Maybe you came in. I knew a guy named uh, Cooper Wellard once. I had a shop around there. Are you related? He was my dad. What's it matter to you? You're Cooper's girl. <laughs> so do you even care about Tiberius? I care about getting medicine. You said you wanted to help me, right? Yes. Do you need anything? I do. And if it works out, you'll never have to work a lottery job again. Excuse me? You heard me. But first, I need to know you're serious about helping. This sounds really sketchy. How do I know I'll be safe? I can't make any promises, but you're Cooper's kid. If I can trust anyone to help me, it's you. 
All right, I'll help you. Is that a promise? Yes. Thank you. Before my accident, I figured out that this reactor just needs a hard reset. To do that, you'll need to input the reset code, which is the unit serial number. Just find the compliance plate and you'll be good to go. By the way, how's your shooting? Could be worse, could be better. Then take this. A crossbow? It's not like I need it anymore. I picked it up off that corpse over there. It hasn't got any bolts, but I see you already got one from that other body. Thanks. I'll see about getting that reactor started. Take my bolt, too. I can feel the embossed letters underneath. There we go. That wasn't too hard. Good job. Now get over here. That was faster than I expected. Maybe there's still time to... Your optimism's cute, but I'm not going anywhere. Listen up, okay? This is how you can help me. Take this letter. It's going to Danton in the Market District. You should be able to find the right place if you ask around. Danton? Who's that? I don't know anyone named Danton in the Market District. You'll figure it out. Look, it's very important to me, and to you, that you deliver this letter. I... I understand. I'll take care of it. Great. Now for the second part of the deal. I need you to shoot me. In the head. Clean as you can. N no I, I can't. I'm in a lot of pain, kid. Let me die with some dignity. There's no way I'd get fixed up in time. We both know it. I want to go out on my own terms. I don't know if I can. Buck up, kid. It's a hard world, and in order to survive, you gotta do lots of things you don't like. Reaper be damned! I'll go out my own way! Please, let's just get this over with. In case you were wondering, this really hurts. Last chance. Are you sure about this? Completely. You can do it. <sighs> One last thing. Y yes what was your name again? It's been so long since I heard Cooper talk about you. It's... Amy. What's yours? Not important. It's for me. Beg your pardon? You asked before about my taking this job, who the vaccine was for. It's for me. I started feeling the symptoms about a week ago, and... well, I'm desperate. Ah, oh, shit. I'm so sorry. What's happening to you? What happened to your old man? Uh, it's not fair. You can make it right, Amy. Just deliver the letter, and everything will change. You'll see. Thank you. I wish you nothing but the best.
This has really gone and thrown a wrench in the works. I can't believe this hasn't been scavenged yet. What in this condition is so tough to find? Hello. I'm here to see Tiberius. Very well. Proceed. Welcome back, miss. I trust the job went well? Well enough. Can I go up? Yes, but I'm afraid we're going to have to hold on to your weapon. I'm sure you understand. I do. Here you go. Thank you. Take the elevator to the top floor and let the soothsayer know you've arrived. Ah, the soothsayer. Right. He's harmless. If he tries to tell your fortune, just go with it. It makes him feel important. Thanks for the advice. <coughs> Keep it together. This will be over soon. Ah, hello. Please, come in. You are the girl who was sent to repair the reactor, are you not? Yes, that's right. I've done the job. Excellent. Minister Tiberius will be most pleased. I have been authorized to give you your payment. One ticket for tomorrow's lottery drawing. Oh my. Is something wrong? Your aura. I felt it when I brushed your hand. My aura? Yes. You must allow me to give you spiritual counsel. I sense great turmoil within you. No, that's okay. I... Please, I insist. There is no need to be afraid of the spirits. I can promise they are more afraid of you. Oh, what the hell. I'll need both hands, please. Now please, relax. I need to study your aura. Hmm... Interesting. Your soul appears to have a tiny seam right in the center. A loose thread, dangerously close to unraveling. The source of this seems to be... a decision which torments you. What did you encounter on your job, if I may ask? I met a dying man. He made me promise to deliver a letter. I see. Do you have this letter with you? Yes, it's right here. May I see it? I feel it has great importance. Hmm, yes, fascinating. Minister Tiberius would be most interested in this. You should speak with him about it. He is just up the stairs. You may tell him I have sent you. Thanks, that was very informative. Think nothing of it. Uh, hello? Yes? What is it, citizen? Your soothsayer gave me my ticket, but he said I should see you. Ah, lottery worker. Thank you for your service. What was your task? The broken reactor in Sector 82. You had sent another technician ahead before me. Ah, yes, of course. The one that never reported back. I take it you made his acquaintance. I did. He had been crushed under some rubble. I had to... Yes, quite unfortunate. I suppose you can consider yourself lucky that you did not meet the same fate. Perhaps this good fortune will continue for tomorrow's lottery drawing. Now then, what exactly did you want to speak to me about, Miss...? Wellard. Amy Wellard. Well, the man who died, he gave me this letter. Oh? And he wanted you to deliver it to me? No, actually. He asked me to deliver it to someone called Danton. I beg your pardon. Did you say Danton? Yes. Somewhere in the Market District. I see. Do you intend to honor this man's dying wish? Yes. I made a promise and I plan to keep it. Then I wish you the best of luck in your endeavor. A word of warning, however. I have heard that this Danton runs in rather undesirable social circles. 
I'm sure I could take care of myself. I have no doubt that you can. However, I also think it would behoove you to refrain from mentioning any contact with me. Once you have delivered your letter, come back here. I believe I will have more work for you, with better pay. You are interested in more work, aren't you? I don't know. That last job was pretty dangerous, and I... Very well. You have your payment. If you choose to return for more work, I will not turn you away. Know, however, that my generosity has its limits. Now, if you've nothing else to discuss, I bid you good day. I'm sorry, my sweet boy. Where were we in today's lesson? Here's your weapon back. By order of Tiberius, I've restocked your crossbow with a couple of bolts. Consider it a gift from the Ministry for your loyal service. Thanks. Soothsayer give you any trouble? No, but he didn't exactly impress me with his insight. I mean, he didn't even tell me I was... Anyway, I might be back later. Hey, Gordon. Amy, what are you looking for? Are you feeling all right? It's strange to see you with a face mask. I'm okay. Just being careful. I saw my neighbor cough up blood the other day, so... What about your daughter? She's staying at a friend's house while I'm out during the day. I've got her wearing a cloth mask, too. I just wish I could get her something better, like an actual gas mask. Business doing okay, Gordon? Could be better. Could always be better. I'm getting desperate, thinking of taking a lottery job. I just came from doing one myself, actually. No kidding. I was starting to wonder where you'd been lately. Who for? Tiberius. Oof. I don't envy you there. But I meant who was the vaccine for? Oh, I just thought it might be good to have some. Just in case, you know? That's not a bad idea at all. And you're young enough that those jobs make sense. I don't think I'm cut out for energy work myself. I'd probably go to resources and maybe knowledge. Lottery jobs are still lottery jobs, Gordon. I don't think they get any easier based on ministry. You're probably right. Well, I hope I sell a lot today, then. How's the Quicksilver restoration going, by the way? Slowly, as always. Still looking for those elusive parts. Well, I wish you luck. I'm always on the lookout for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Have you got anything good for sale? Nothing that would interest you currently, but I get new things in all the time. If you check back later, I'll let you know when I've got something you'll like. Do you know anyone around here named Danton? Danton? Doesn't sound familiar. Sorry. Bye, Gordon. Goodbye, Amy. Come back anytime. Young lady. Have you made peace with yourself and loved ones? Death is coming, and we must be prepared to welcome it with open arms. What? The Reaper patrols the skies in search of the next chosen one. Will it be you? I don't think it will. Do not be so quick to dismiss him. Was there something in particular you wanted? I really should be going. So be it. Well, well. Look who decided to stop by. Nice to see you too, Gus. How can I be of service? The farm holding up all right? Not so great. We've been having a pretty rough year so far. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm not sure how we'll recover, to be honest. I'm not even sure how much longer we'll be able to keep doing this. Might have to close up shop and head somewhere else. I wish Pop hadn't been so stubborn and invested in one of those automated farmhands. We could have been nice and comfy doing government work. And you could have gotten in on the action and fixed them for us when they broke. How come you never offered to repair stuff for the aristocrats, anyway? I apply every week, but they just don't want me, I guess. It's fine. I get by with my freelance repairs. Yeah, well. What's on sale today? See for yourself. Stock's a bit limited, but I've got this chicken and some slabs of meat. They're a bit scrawny, but salt and dry them, and they should last you a fair bit. See anything you fancy? It all looks nice, Gus, but I haven't got anything to trade. Could give you something on credit, you know that. Yeah, I know. 
I appreciate the offer, but I'm okay. I'll come back if it's been a few days. Don't let it get to that point if you can. It's not healthy. You need to eat. You're starting to sound like Mariska. Do you know someone called Danton? Danton? Never heard of him. Sorry. See you later, Gus. You bet. Hi, Denby. Oh, uh, hi, Amy. What are you up to? Oh, you know, standing, breathing, the usual. So, what's that behind you, then? Oh, that? Just my latest piece, in the works. Another art project? Yeah. I need to take a break from forging handwriting. It, it, it pays the bills, but doesn't feed the soul. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. Anyway, I've got this chalk, so I'm trying to, like, think of something funny to put on the wall. I just haven't gotten any good ideas yet. Where did you get that chalk, anyway? I made it. You made it? Yeah, from Marichka's dandruff. Gross, but effective. Quit messing around, Denby. Fine. You promise not to tell anyone? Promise. Okay, well, I was scavenging around Fripp Square, and I broke into one of the classrooms at the fancy rich kid school. Denby. There wasn't anyone around. It's not like they'll miss it. I swear, Denby, I am not pulling your ass out of jail. I know what I'm doing. Besides, they deserve it. People are starving out here, and the aristocrats are just sitting around powdering their wigs. So, do you need all that chalk? Can I have some? Sorry, Amy, I only have one piece, and I need it to finish this drawing. Not even a tiny little bit? I can't. You want some? Help me break into the place next time. Next time? Uh, I mean, never again. Ever, ever. I think I have an idea for your drawing. Really? What is it? Why not draw Gus wearing a tutu? Oh man, he'll go nuts! Thanks, Amy. I'll get to work on that right away. Hi, Denby. Oh, uh, hi, Amy. Do you know of someone called Danton? No, that's a pretty stupid sounding name if you ask me. See you later, Denby. See ya. I haven't got anything to say. Hello, Marishka. Amy, hello! I'm looking for someone named Danton. Do you know who that is? Danton? Hmm, Danton. No, never heard of that person before. Who is it? That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, good luck to you. How's the day treating you so far? Well enough. Luckily, the guard bell hasn't sounded today. I get so upset when they come through here. Have they been coming through here a lot lately? A bit more than normal. It makes me so mad. I know, it's annoying. But just try to forget about it. As long as they don't bother you, it doesn't matter. I have to go now. Okay, you come back and see me again soon, all right? Hi, Nelson. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? Have you had many visitors today? You're the first. But the day is still young. I'm sure someone will come along. Wouldn't it make more sense for you to sell your books? Knowledge should always be free, Amy. Anyone can borrow what I have. Remember, if you ever want to take a break and enjoy a book, you're welcome to. Could you tell me what it was like before the bombs? Yes, of course. It's always nice to recall the old days. On sunny days, the sky used to be a beautiful shade of blue. Do you remember that? Vaguely. I was only five when the bombs fell. There's a lot of photos of it in my books, so the memory isn't completely lost, but it's not quite the same. Have you heard of someone called Danton? Danton? I know a historical figure named Danton, is that who you mean? I'm not sure exactly. I'm looking for someone who goes by the name Danton. Ah, well, then I'm afraid I can't help you with that. I think I'd like to read for a while, if that's okay. Of course. What subject are you interested in reading about? I'm interested in learning something about history. Wonderful. 
I think I've got just the book for you. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? I think I'd like to read for a while, if that's okay. Of course. What subject are you interested in reading about? I'd like to read something about art. Wonderful. I think I've got just the book for you. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? I think I'd like to read for a while, if that's okay. Of course. What subject are you interested in reading about? I'm interested in reading about philosophy. Wonderful. I think I've got just the book for you. Hey, don't think I can't see what you're drawing behind your scrawny ass, Denby. <laughs> you like it? I'd like it more if I was left the hell alone. Aw, oh, where's your sense of humor, Gus? How's it going, Clem? Not so bad, Amy. What's up? How's business? Traffic in this alley isn't exactly bustling. Yeah, but people know where to find me. I'm not starving, so I suppose I'm doing okay. Why don't you move to a better location? I've got my reasons. I'll take your word for it. What about you? Repair business going okay? Yeah, I'm taking a little break for now, but it's been steady. Hey, as long as life's cozy, you do what you want. Got anything good available today? I glazed some of the bowls I made from the abandoned terracotta near the salt flats. Ah, look at how they shine in the light. That's lovely, but not really my style. If I had a food voucher for every time somebody told me that... Maybe if you had something with more color? Yeah, I know. It just ain't so easy getting colored glazes. With business this bad, I don't want to waste them on pots that won't sell. I'm looking for someone named Danton. Hmm. The name sounds familiar, but... But what? But, I don't know if I could be of much help. Maybe if you had some more information. Are you sure you can't tell me anything about Danton? Sorry, Amy. I don't think I can. Maybe if you had something else besides just the name. See you later, Clem. Take care of yourself, Amy. Clem, you know how I was asking about Danton? It's because I was given this letter to deliver. Does that ring any bells? Hmm. Not really. No. Sorry. Uh, okay. Thanks anyway. Hey, Amy. What? I suggest you brush up on your calligraphy. 
Come again? Just some advice is all. Do you have any less cryptic advice? You'll figure it out. What kind of advice is brush up on your calligraphy? Hmm. Hi, Dunby. Oh, uh, hi, Amy. I think I have a better idea for your drawing. Really? What is it? You could draw Tiberius with stink lines coming off him. Yeah, and I'll write Tiberius stinks underneath. Thanks, Amy. I'll get to work on that right away. Hi, Dunby. Oh, uh, hi, Amy. Are those Tiberius's guards coming around the corner? What? No way, they can't be. I didn't hear the bell ring. Oh, sorry. It was just someone in a blue jacket and hat. My mistake. You have a sick sense of humor, Amy. See you later, Dunby. See ya. Hmm. I think I can get a clear shot from here. It's a pretty good trick, Amy. I won't tell him it was you. I just hope he learned his lesson. Well, since Denby's no longer using it, I'll just hold on to it for him. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? I think I'd like to read for a while, if that's okay. Of course. What subject are you interested in reading about? I feel I need to brush up on my calligraphy. You don't say. In that case, allow me to give you one of my books on the subject. It will definitely help you. Thanks. looking wax seal. That letter on it looks awfully familiar. Let's take a closer look. I'll just go ahead and erase the board. Well, that did something. You! Come down here! Who are you? What are you doing in here? My name is Amy, and I have a message for Danton. And? What is it? Here. I was given this letter to deliver to Danton. 
I see. Wait here a sec. Who are you, and where did you get this? Danton, I presume? Indeed. Now answer my question. Where did you get this letter? It was given to me by a technician in Sector 82. He gave it to you? Why? What happened to him? He was crushed under some rubble. He gave me the letter after I agreed to, well, put him out of his misery. I tried getting him out of there, I swear, but he said this was more important. Damn it. Milton was a good man. His loyalty won't be forgotten. He wouldn't have given that letter to just anyone, Danton. She must have earned his trust somehow. Yes. Although I still have a few questions. What were you doing down there in the first place? I was doing a job, fixing the reactor. He was down there, crushed, dying. Was he now? Yes, and he asked me to deliver this letter. I don't know about her, Danton. Are we sure she's not lying? Bruce makes a good point. You could have just stolen this letter. How can we be sure you didn't? If I had stolen it, why would I have gone through the trouble of delivering it? If you're a government spy, you'd go to any lengths to find us. I'm curious, what was it you said to Milton that made him give you this letter? He asked me about my dad. Turns out they knew each other. Oh? Yeah, Cooper Wellard. What? You're Cooper Wellard's daughter? Come to think of it, I do see a resemblance. I never heard anything about him having a daughter. Did you know? No, I... Hang on, just who are you people anyway? Hmm. Seems he protected you from us. Can't say I blame him. Thank you for delivering this letter. In exchange for it, we'll let you out of here. But you must swear to me not to tell anyone what you've seen in here. I thought you were supposed to help me. Why shouldn't I just go tell everyone how pointless this was? In time, your help will come. Meanwhile, I strongly discourage telling anyone about our presence. I would hate to have to do anything to stop you. Fine. I swear I won't say anything. I'm glad that's settled. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to read this message. Do be careful with what you stumbled into, Amy. And I'll just take that book off your hands. Tough lady. The best leaders tend to be, yes. Hey. What do you want? Are you Danton's personal bodyguard? That's right. I make sure only the right people get to see her. And exactly who are the right people? People who don't ask a lot of questions. What are you doing here? I'll tell you what I don't do, and that's answer questions from strangers off the street. Fine. I see how it is. Keep on doing what you're doing. Mm. So, found Danton, did you? Yeah, interesting lady. You could say that, but her heart's in the right place. So I take it you're involved with those people in there somehow? Maybe, maybe not. I'm just keeping my nose where it belongs. Sorry I couldn't just give you the secret nod, but it's not really in my place. I knew you'd get it on your own. Fair enough. Anyway, I'll let you get on with your business. Have a good one, Amy. Thanks. Yeah, I'm... I'm fine. If you don't mind my saying, you don't look fine at all. I'm fine, really. I was just... I was just out of breath. Lying to yourself isn't the answer. You should embrace your demise. Oh, I should, should I? You've been mocked. It's obvious. The Reaper is coming for you. You should consider yourself lucky. It's only a matter of time before you pass on into the next world and liberate yourself from this misery. Look, creepy. I'm not spending what time I have left alive worshipping death, okay? Leave me alone. If that's what you want, then I will. 
But remember that accepting him will make your remaining life much easier. Should you change your mind, the Acolytes of the Reaper will welcome you at the Cathedral of St. Stephen. The one with a half a plane sticking out of it? That is the one! May death come to you swiftly, young lady. <sighs> I think I'm gonna need a few more lottery tickets after all. I have business with Tiberius. Very good. Your weapon, please. Welcome back. I had a vision I'd be seeing you again. Ah, you return! Yes, and I delivered the letter to Danton. Excellent. You have made contact with them. Good work. So, do you have any more jobs for me? Yes, as promised. As I'm sure you've gathered, Danton is the head of a group of terrorists bent on destroying the government. I need you to be my spy. I thought lottery jobs were more labor-intensive. Haven't you got people in your government who do this sort of thing? Alas, I do not. Which is why I am in desperate need of a citizen such as yourself to help me. Would you watch this new civilization we've struggled to build be undone by a group of upstarts? No, but they don't really seem like much of a threat, just a group of idealists. Yes, and the last time a group of idealists formed, they attempted to destroy the Ministry of Knowledge. Danton's group is an ever-growing threat, and they must be controlled and subdued as quickly as possible. Return to them. Tell them you wish to aid them. If they request you perform some task for them, do so to gain their trust. Of course, use your judgment wisely. If you break any laws, I can only offer you so much protection. When you know more of what they plan, come back and inform me. And as before, do not let them know you are there on my behalf. They would surely kill you on the spot. I... I don't know. I'm starting to have second thoughts about this. I realize this is a dangerous undertaking. If you succeed, I can offer you a government job. You'll be able to receive vaccine as you need it. I'll do anything for that kind of stability. Excellent. I wish you luck in your task. <laughs> of course I have a backup plan. Now behave yourself. And let us continue with arithmetic. I wish you luck on your task, young lady. And offer some advice. Beware false friends. How did you... Right, I guess that's your job. Never mind. Here's your weapon back. Thanks. Amy, didn't expect to see you back so soon. Yeah, I remembered that I had something else to talk to Danton about. No big deal, really. Don't mind me. Whatever you say. You again? I'd like to speak with Danton, please. Fine, wait here. So you're back. What is it now? I know who you are, and what your people are doing. I'd... I'd like to help. I'm flattered that you want to help us. But I feel we have some matters to resolve first. What matters are those? Enough of these games. You're going to have to start telling me the truth if you want to get out of here alive. What? I have been! Let's not be so drastic! Don't play coy with me, Blondie. Do you think I'm stupid? I had you followed when you left here. I know you went to the Ministry of Energy. Now I'm only gonna ask you this once, and I want the truth. Are you working for Tiberius or aren't you? 
I am. I was told to spy on you and report everything I can. Well, you're either a terrible spy, or your loyalty to Tiberius is quite lacking. It's a lottery job. I'm just doing what I was told. A lottery job? Oh, I see. And what other choice have I got? It's not like I can walk up to the Ministry of Medicine and buy a dose. I'm so sorry. You don't deserve what's happening to you. This is why we have to act. They've been beating us down for so long, nobody remembers a time when they were prosperous and free. Struggling against the system may not be pretty, but it's the only way we can improve our lives. Danton, if she's got a connection to Tiberius, she could prove useful. You know, you're right. Having another double agent would be beneficial to us now that we've lost Milton. But I'm not gonna make you this offer for free. I'd hate for Tiberius to outbid me for your loyalty. Instead of hoping your lottery ticket gets chosen, how about you end up with as many actual doses of vaccine as you want? What are you talking about? You have access to vaccine? Not just yet, but if all goes to plan, we will. I'll tell you more as soon as you help us out with something. Are you familiar with the junk vendor and butcher in the market? Gordon and Gus? Of course. They're good friends of mine. Then it may interest you to know that they work for me. I had no idea. They usually spare us some of their extra supplies, but they've been unable to keep up the last few months. I suspect they've fallen on hard times. See what's going on with them and help them if you can. Once you've finished, come back here, and we'll do what we can for you. Oh, and when you talk to them, use the code phrase, I've got the perfect life. That will let them know you're working for me. Now get to it. Don't come back here until you've finished. And remember, I expect your loyalty. If you set foot anywhere near the Ministry of Energy, I don't want to see you meet an unfortunate end. I'm sure you understand. Hi. Don't bother. The aristocrats cut out her tongue. My god! That's awful! Why would they do that? She used to work for the Ministry of Knowledge. She was caught stealing books, and that was her punishment. Apparently, Claudius did it himself. Ugly business. Hey, Gordon. Amy, what are you looking for? You know, if you helped me today, I'd have the perfect life. You mean... Ah, oh, I see. Be careful where you say that, Amy. Right, sorry. Anyway, what are you doing to help the others? A little extra scavenging for items they might find useful. But lately, I've been too distracted by the situation with my daughter. You'd think that for all the crap I collect, I'd have found something to at least try and make her a more effective mask. Only place I haven't had a chance to check out lately is the old Centrex factory, even though I'm not sure there'd be much of use in there. I just want her to be safe. Losing my wife was bad enough, I can't lose her too. I know, Gordon. I know. I'll keep an eye out for what you need. You just try to relax. That would be awfully kind of you, Amy. Anytime. Bye, Gordon. Goodbye, Amy. Come back anytime. Just couldn't stay away, could you? No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. How are you doing today, Gus? Cause I've got the perfect life. Shh, not so loud. Sorry. So, how long have you been, you know? About a year now. But why? Isn't it risky for you? Sure, but to be honest, I, I kind of like the excitement. Makes me feel like I'm part of something important. Plus, things need to change. Just look around you. We can't live like this. Kids can't grow up like this. Danton's gonna bring back the old days. Anyway, I was told you were having some trouble, so I wanted to help. I'm not sure what you can do, but swing by the farm if you want. Pop was asking about you the other day. If nothing else, talk with him a bit. He misses you. See you later, Gus. You bet. Hello, Marishka. Amy, hello! You know, as tough as things are, I feel like I've got the perfect life. I'm happy for you, Amy. You're always so positive. Looks like you had quite the harvest. Yes, thankfully. Though nothing is keeping very long. 
Weeds have become a big problem. Anything you want? You're looking very skinny these days. You should eat. Take a pumpkin. Half price for you. You can make pumpkin soup. You need your strength. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. One of these days, you'll get so skinny, you'll turn around and I won't be able to see you anymore. It's all right, Marishka. I ate yesterday. I'll be fine for a little while longer. No, no. You worry me when you say things like that. Relax, it's okay. I'm not dead yet. You said something about weeds being a problem? What are they called? What do they look like? Blue burglar. It grows very fast, very difficult to control. Pretty blue flowers, though. Too bad they ruin my vegetables. Luckily, I finally got them under control. They won't come back for a long time. Blue flowers? Now that you mention it, I think I've seen those someplace. Thanks, Marishka. I have to go now. Okay, you come back and see me again soon, all right? The Reaper watches from the skies and sends ahead his... Hey, guys. What's going on? Hi, Amy. Where did you kids find that jump rope? Jimmy found it in a field behind his house. Pretty cool, huh? We haven't had something like this to play with in a long time. Yeah, it's pretty great. That's a pretty scary rhyme you're saying, isn't it? Only if you're scared of the Reaper, like Jimmy. He saw a raven yesterday and peed his pants. Do you believe in the Reaper, Amy? No, it's just a story. Yeah, I don't get how people can be scared of something like that. Well, you're pretty brave, Tina. Yeah, I know. Aren't you kids supposed to be in school? No, school got canceled this week because our teacher got green lung. Well, that's awful. Is she going to be okay? Dunno. She didn't look too sick, so maybe she'll be back soon. I hope she is. Miss Campbell is nice. I'd be sad if she got sent to the quarantine zone. I'm sure she'll be back next week. You'll see. How about letting me have a turn? Really? Sure, I was pretty good at jumping a rope when I was a kid. Well, okay. CC my playmate, come scavenge stuff with me. And we'll be jolly friends, climb up the rotten tree. Climb down this ladder, into my secret room. And we'll be jolly friends, till all goes boom. Miss Susie went to market, she heard the ringing bell. The guards came for Miss Susie and sent her off to Hello, Mr. Nero, please do you have the time? If you don't stop and tell me, I'll kick your big behind the broken window. There was a piece of glass, Tiberius sat on it and cut up his dumb. Ask me no more questions, tell me no more lies. Germanicus and Claudius forgot to do their flies are on the bodies. Ravens in the park. Miss Susie saw the reaper in the D.A.R.K. dark. Last night and the night before, my lungs were feeling kind of sore. Will they let me stay at home or put me in the quarantine zone? Mama, mama, I feel sick. Call the doctor quick, quick, quick. Doctor, doctor, will I die? Close your eyes and count to five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm still alive and on channel five. Miss Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black, 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 because her brother, brother, brother had an attack, tack, tack. He asked the ministry, 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 if they had work, 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 to get some medicine, 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 as a perk, perk, perk. He went away, way, way, and to this day, 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 Nobody knows, knows, knows if he's okay, K, K. Okay, I think that's enough for me. I'll see you kids later. Bye, Amy. It's nice to be home. I just wish I could forget about everything and stay in for the rest of the day. You're coming with me, Bucket.
If you can't hear singing, but you see their eyes glow red, the reaper will be coming. Whoa, Amy, what are you doing? Just letting these flowers breathe. Don't get near the broken glass, okay? Okay. When the reaper comes around, I really he'll take hope I don't have to keep dealing soul. with broken glass Put today. You in his pocket this has and got to be the weed Marishka mentioned. Beware the red-eyed ravens. They mean... Oh, God, that smell. I think I might be sick. Amy, is that you over there? Hey, Pop. Gus said you'd been asking after me. It's been ages since I last saw you. Come over here and let's have a look at you. Are you under the weather, Pop? I'm not, but I can't say the same about my sheep. Take a look around. Hell, just take a whiff. That's the stench of failure. Things are bad. Don't know if we'll be able to dig ourselves out of this hole. Did your sheep get sick? What happened? Ran out of feed, so half of them starved to death. It's not a pretty picture. Haven't been able to find anything else they'll eat. The farm's gone barren, and now the only thing I'm feeding is ravens. Truth is, if I can't come up with a way to keep the rest of the flock from dying, I'm done for. I'll keep an eye out for anything that might help. That'd be mighty kind of you. Why are all these ravens hanging around? They're hungry too. Now that they got plenty of carrion, it's an open buffet for them. Little bastards have gotten bold too. Nothing I do seems to keep them away for long. At least having them around means nobody comes snooping around. They run off at first sight of them thanks to that kooky reaper cult. I think we're having the same kind of day. What's the matter? This morning I found a man underground. He'd been crushed underneath some rubble. And pulling that trigger was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I'm sorry, Amy, but it sounds like you did the right thing. Did I, though? I could have found someone to help. Why did he have to die? You listen to what the man wanted, it sounds like. In this hellhole, that's all we can ask for in our last moment. I guess you're right. Of course I'm right. Like he said, even if you had gotten him out, you wouldn't have had much of a life left to live. It's not something anyone likes thinking about, but it's reality. I know. I mean, I see death almost every day, but... This was different somehow. Thanks, Pop. I think I needed to just get that off my chest. Anytime, Amy. I didn't realize you knew so much about the Reaper cult. I don't, and I don't want to. They're just a bunch of freaks who think worshiping the Reaper is gonna make them die quicker. But I thought the Reaper was just a story. It is, but they think the Ravens are a sign that the Reaper is on his way to take them away from their woes. So naturally, any half-wit who believes that crap and sees a raven gets scared and goes running in the other direction. Bunch of bullhickey, all of it. Anyway, it's best if you stay away from the Reaper cult. Don't want to put any ideas in your head. Don't worry. I met one of them earlier. I'm not going anywhere near them if I can avoid it. I'm sorry you're having trouble, Pop, but I've got the perfect life. Is that a fact? Yeah. Did Gus not tell you? Tell me what? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Whatever you say, Amy. I have to go now. Come back and visit whenever you like. Pop, have you seen this weed before? Sure, that's Blue Burglar. I haven't seen it in ages, though. Where'd you get it? There's some growing near my place. Why is it called Blue Burglar? Because it creeps up on you seemingly overnight. Plant just one in your whole field to be full of them in a month. Would your sheep eat it? I think they'd eat anything at this point. Wouldn't hurt to try. Thanks, Amy. I'll go get some more and plant it tonight. At least the sheep we've got left might still stand a chance. Happy to help. Say, Pop, would you mind if I took this gas mask? Nah, it's fine. Not doing too great a job scaring the birds, so I doubt taking it off will make much of a difference. Hope you weren't planning on using it, though. The filter's no good. That's fine. I'm sure I'll find some use for it.
Butcher, a word, if you would. Yeah, what is it? The Ministry of Resources is in need. You are hereby requested to provide your stocks of meat for government distribution. But I hardly have any meat to spare, and it'll be a while before I can get more. Be that as it may, Aurelius has extended you the courtesy. In exchange, you will be provided two water purifiers per month. I don't know. I have to think about it. Very well. If you change your mind, please notify the Ministry, but know that this offer will not last forever. Good day to you, citizen. Gordon, I found this gas mask, but the filter is empty. Would it be of any use to you at all? Yes, this is good. If I could get a filter, this would be exactly what I need. Thank you, Amy. Here, I have something you might like to trade. What is it? An aristocrat guard ran through here earlier and dropped his flintlock pistol. It got a bit damaged, but I figured you might be interested in messing around with it for parts. Yeah, that sounds good. Thanks. And don't worry, I'll find a filter for you, I promise. I'm sure somebody around here has to know something about them. Yeah, now that you mention it, Nelson's probably the guy to see about that. He's got books on just about everything. Just couldn't stay away, could you? No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. I saw you having words with that guard. What was that all about? Eh, uh, nothing. He was just trying to get me to sell out to the government. I promised Danton I'd give the rebels my extra supplies. I'm not betraying her for the wigheads. I admire your loyalty. Your sheep should be fine now. Really? What did you do? Just gave Pop some blue burglar. He said it should be able to feed the sheep soon. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Amy. I can't thank you enough. I'm just glad I could help. See you later, Gus. You bet. Hi, Nelson. Good to see you, Amy. What can I do for you? Coming out here, reading books, it makes me realize I've got the perfect life. Ah, I see. I do as well. It gives me pleasure to help how I can, although I'm too old to fight. What made you decide to join them? Danton makes some good points, despite being a bit overzealous. The favoritism the aristocracy showed their elite patrons after the plague began is completely inexcusable. Once the poor couldn't fund their medical research, we were quickly cast aside for those who could. Danton is brash, perhaps a bit foolish, but her ideals are what we need. I think I'd like to read for a while, if that's okay. Of course. What subject are you interested in reading about? I want to read up on science. Wonderful. I think I've got just the book for you. Interesting. This information could be pretty useful. Couldn't stay away, could you? No, I haven't quite reached today's quota of looking at dead meat. I'm looking for salt, like the kind you use on meats. Where can I find some? Well, there's plenty out at the salt flats just outside the city, but it's kind of a pain in the ass to go out there. The walk takes a while, and lugging the stuff back's a chore. It shouldn't be a problem. How do I get there? You know the abandoned South Coast Rail Yard near Fripp Square? Just follow the main track down about half a mile, and you'll find it. Thanks. Will do. See you later, Gus. You bet.
I can't believe I never knew about this place. It's the perfect spot to get away from everything. Am I hearing things, or is that music? Plenty of salt has been dug up here. I'll take a handful. Huh, it's unlocked. That's kind of surprising. Denby, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, you know, living. That's what people do, I hear. Did you run away from home? I don't really want to talk about it. You can hang out here if you want, though. It's nice to have some company. Hey, Denby? Yeah? How long did you say you've been living here? Around two months. Not a bad place, really. There's plenty of room, and nobody comes by, so I've got all the privacy I could want. Well, nobody except you, anyway. I could leave you alone if you want. No, 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 uh, that's not what I meant. It's cool that you're here. It's nice to have someone to talk to. Why did you run away? I said I didn't want to talk about it. Well, I do. Is it some problem with your family? Is there anything I can do to help? No, it's just... I felt like I was getting in the way. Mom and Dad have been having a hard time getting us all enough food, and my brother and sister are little, so there's not much they can do for themselves. I figured it would just be better for me to go off on my own. I mean, I still go back and see them and give them anything extra I've got, but I kind of like having my own space, you know? Yeah, I know. Look at you being responsible. I'm so proud of you. Ugh, whatever. No need to be gushy about it. How did you manage to get in here? They didn't do a very good job of boarding up the doors. It was pretty easy to get in. I'm surprised nobody else tried before I did. I mean, there's like not much left in here, but glass is pretty valuable. I might trade it to Clem. Does any of the stuff in here still work? Yeah, I, I think the furnace still works. It's connected to the gas anyway. The gas is still on? Yeah, it's on a natural line, so it's still under pressure even though the power's been cut. I try to keep it off as much as I can, though, just in case. Besides, if you need natural gas, I've pretty much got you covered. Good to know. Just don't light yourself on fire. You know, I've got the perfect life. What the hell are you talking about, Amy? Have you gone crazy? No, I... Oh, just forget it. I'll just leave you to whatever it is you're doing. Thanks. I'm guessing this valve must control some kind of gas flow. Assuming it still works, of course. Yep, it does. Nothing going on in there right now. That furnace could really be useful. This is a really great find. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Must be some kind of drain. It doesn't smell very nice down there. That's not my fault, in case you were wondering. I wasn't, but thanks for the clarification. Pretty. Too bad the legs are broken. Yeah, I wonder how that happened. Not much I can do with the outside of the furnace. It's best just not to touch it. I learned that the hard way. Nothing in there but ash. <laughs> what? I said ash, Denby. There's nothing down there that interests me. I'd be worried if there was. I don't want to risk damaging it any further. Yeah, probably best to just leave it where it is. These are nice. It's like you've turned this place into a private gallery. Yeah, I keep them around for inspiration. Hey, these are pretty good. All yours? Yeah, they're okay, I guess. My favorite's the one of the pilot. What are all these signatures? Like I said, I've been practicing copying handwriting. Those are just my practice sheets. This one doesn't look finished. No, it's still a work in progress. Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, you're the only woman I know who isn't old and wrinkly, so you're way easier to draw. Why are all these burnt papers on the floor? Oh, I always burn my bad drawings. But why would you do that? What's the point in keeping things around if they don't represent you? 
They're up too high. Besides, I think they liven the place up. Yeah, don't mess up my decorations. Hey, try not to touch the drawings, okay? Sorry. You can have it when I've finished if you want. They're of no use to me. Harsh. Nothing going on in there right now. But there is the smell of gas wafting out. That's a start. It wasn't me, I swear. You're gonna leave me here with the gas on? Are you trying to kill me? I don't think tossing that into the furnace would be a good idea. Why not? You're carrying too much junk. Liberate yourself. If I put wood on there like this, it'll just fall on the bottom when I light the furnace. Yeah, and then the burnt smell will linger for days. Randomly throwing salt into a furnace doesn't seem like a very good idea. But it might make for some cool sparks. Nothing happened. Well, yeah, the gas isn't on. Now we're cooking. What? You're actually gonna cook? No, it was a figure of speech. Oh, thank goodness. I still have nightmares about that lamb stew sometimes. I'll make it again if you don't shut up. Copy that. Now that is a nice sight. Yeah, really makes this place feel homey. I'm not about to go sticking my hand into a lit furnace. I'll give you my pumpkin if you do. That chance. I see no reason to just toss this perfectly good piece of wood into the fire. You never did strike me as a pyromaniac. At least this will make carrying the wood around slightly easier. What are you doing? An experiment. Boring! Not when it involves burning stuff. Oh. Well, yeah. That's cool, then. So, did your experiment work? Don't be so nosy, Denby. Take care of yourself, Denby. I'll try my best. I can't believe this hasn't been scavenged yet. What in this condition is so tough to find? I'm back. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. If you're worried about that, you could always try knocking. Fair point. At least this will make carrying the wood around slightly easier. Okay, I'll rub salt into the wood. That should prep it for carbonization. Nice. The wood burned long enough to become activated carbon. What? Spend some time reading Nelson's science books and you might learn something. Time for me to go. Okay, see ya. Gordon, look. I got you some charcoal for your gas mask's filter. I... I don't believe it. I don't know what to say. Then listen. Nelson has a science book explaining how you can make charcoal filters. It's really not that difficult. 
If you can find or make more masks, you can make filters and provide them to anyone who needs them. I'm stunned, Amy. Thank you for your help. We've all got to look out for each other. Merchant, a word if you would. What do you want? Aurelius of the Ministry of Resources is officially requesting your supply of raw brass. What? But brass is my most valuable material. It's practically impossible to come by these days. Correct. Which is why in exchange, the Ministry is offering you ten food vouchers a week. Do you accept this offer? I don't know. Ten food vouchers a week is a lot, but I'll have to think about it. Very well. If you change your mind, please notify the Ministry, but know that this offer will not last forever. Good day to you, citizen. That's a tough offer to refuse. Why didn't you accept? Because if I hand over my materials to the aristocracy, I won't have enough to provide to Danton. That's pretty loyal, Gordon. She's what we need to change this place, even if it hurts in the short term. Glad to see you've returned. I assume you've managed to sort things out with our suppliers? Yes. You've done well, Amy. I think you'll get along here just fine. But understand this. Committing yourself to help the Resistance is not a promise made lightly. We require your full cooperation and transparency. No secrets or lies. Do I make myself clear? Yes, quite clear. So I'm guessing there's more work to be done? Come with me. Thank you for helping our suppliers. As you can probably tell, recruitment has been slow, which has hindered our progress. But I think with your help, we just may be able to initiate some changes. What is it you had in mind? That letter you brought us came from our contact in the Ministry of Medicine. It contained extremely valuable information. I need you to infiltrate the Ministry of Medicine and confirm what this letter says. Do you have any questions? This Milton, who was he? Why did knowing my father make him trust me? As I mentioned before, he was our double agent in the Ministry of Energy. With his help, we were able to establish our contact in the Ministry of Medicine. In the early days of the Rebellion, Milton also recruited your father as the official mechanic. They were good friends. I never met Cooper myself, but my understanding is that he was just as loyal as Milton. Losing them both has been a blow. I think we'll manage, though. After all, we have you now. You mentioned my father was with the Rebellion in the early days. How come he never mentioned it? It doesn't surprise me. The previous attempt at a Rebellion was met with disastrous failure. They didn't manage to get very far before being discovered and quelled by the aristocracy. Your father and Milton were the only original members to escape unharmed. It's taken us a very long time to get back on track, but I intend to avenge our forefathers and deliver the justice they died for. If you're so against the government, why do you use the Ministry of Medicine symbol as your code to get in here? That's exactly what the aristocracy would expect. Having our own symbol would make us easier to find once they figured out what it was. Sometimes the best way to hide things is to put them in plain sight. Can you tell me what it is I'm meant to find? Our contact was unable to provide the exact details in case the letter was intercepted. But if the information he did give us is correct, it means the government is covering up something very important having to do with the green lung vaccine. If you confirm this, it will be exactly what we need to expose the government's lies and incite a revolution. What if it turns out to be a false lead? It won't. Believe me, you'll find something in there. You have to. What's the plan for getting me into the Ministry of Medicine? An excellent question. You know how the wealthy have contracts with the aristocracy based on their support when they first formed? I have a vague idea, sure. If a government supporter were to show signs of green lung, the aristocracy would waste no time in sending a doctor to treat them. I want you to go to Fripp Square. My sources tell me that a notable supporter has recently been showing symptoms of the plague. His name is Silas Harrison. He should be visited by a doctor very soon. Find out when and where the visit will take place. Then, intercept the doctor, disguise yourself, and enter the Ministry of Medicine. 
Once you've done that, you'll locate the central storage room, where they keep the vaccine supply. I suspect that's where you'll find what we're looking for. Maybe I should write all this down. It's a lot to keep track of. No. I'm sorry, but we can't have a paper trail. I trust you'll be able to make this happen. I know it's complicated and dangerous, but believe me when I say this information will change everything. I guess I should get started. Good. Head over to Fripp Square and find out where Harrison is. That should get you close enough to intercept his doctor. You might also try checking at the Ministry itself. They might have some information on when the doctor is set to make his house call. Once you're in the Ministry, you can identify our contact by using the code phrase. I'm not sure how much help he'll be able to give you, but having an ally on the inside is at least better than nothing. I wish you luck, Amy. Remember that if you succeed, the Resistance will reward you in far greater ways than the aristocracy ever could. Good day to you, merchant. Go away, you dog. I have nothing to say to you. Now, now, there's no need to be. I just try to make my living here. I have family to take care of, and no help from the aristocracy. Well, if you would just let me... My brother Pavel went out scavenging days ago and has not returned. We're all worried he's dead. What does the aristocracy do? Nothing. Sit in their towers and watch us starve. You are young. You do not remember life before the bombs. It was different. Guards were our friends, not monsters. I appreciate your position, but... Look, I think it's best if you just go. She's clearly upset. Fine. I was here to extend an offer of food vouchers from the Ministry of Resources. But if she feels that way, it's her loss. Good day to you, citizen. I apologize for upsetting you. Oh, thank you, Amy. I always get so angry when I see those guards. Excuse me. What is it, citizen? Could you tell me about this building, sir? You don't get out much, do you? This is the Ministry of Medicine. They're in charge of all health-related issues in the city. So, this is where people come to get their vaccines? Correct. Entry is by appointment only, I'm afraid. I kind of figured as much. You know someone named Silas Harrison? Silas Harrison? The name sounds familiar. But then, I see plenty of names on a daily basis. I have to write the name of all scheduled appointments here in my ledger. Don't suppose I could have a peek at your ledger? Afraid not, miss. This is for government eyes only. And, not to be rude, but you don't look like a government employee to me. I just have to say, I've got the perfect life. Good for you, miss. Now please, move along. Keep up the good work. Have a nice day, miss. Let's hope this works. What was that? What a mess. I told them this would happen eventually. <sighs> Let's just have a look at this ledger. Here we go. Silas Harrison is being visited by a doctor this evening for a green lung treatment. This information could be very important to certain people. Might be a good idea to take it with me. Ah, Fripp Square. I do so love the dirty looks I get from people when I walk through here. Hello there. May I help you with something? Have you heard the name Silas Harrison? I have, yes. He's fairly well known around these parts. Can you tell me anything about him? Like where he lives? Lady, I'm a town crier, not a town directory. If you want to put your nose where it don't belong, you're better off talking to Flora and Genevieve on the other side of the square. So you're a town crier? What do you actually do? 
I deliver the news to the people of Fripp Square. They ask about specific headlines, I tell them. Some sort of breaking news arrives from the government, I read it. It's rather simple, really. I've got some news for you. I've got the perfect life. You, of all people, have the perfect life? I guess that really is news. Can I hear some news? Very well. Right now, the top headlines are Ministry of Energy restarts generators. Terrorists rumored in the market district. Mysterious object spotted over quarantine zone. And the weather report. So, what'll it be? How about Ministry of Energy restarts generators? Fine. Attention citizens, the following is an important news bulletin. The Ministry of Energy released a report saying that they have succeeded in restarting 60% of the city's reactors. As a result, more power will be available, starting with the area around Fripp Square. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. Excuse me, sir? Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? I'm Amy Wellard. It's nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too, Amy. My name is Maximilian Huber, but please call me Max. Do you live around here? Yes, just around the corner, but ever since my wife passed, I like to get out of the house and spend time with my friends. Your friends? Yes, the Ravens. So, how much time do you spend with your friends? Not all day, but most of it. They are beautiful creatures, aren't they? How those Reaper cultists have turned them into a symbol of fear is beyond me, but to each his own, I suppose. I only wish I had something to feed them with. The poor things were terribly hungry. What do they eat? Anything, really. Meat, vegetables, insects. They're not picky eaters by any means. I'm looking for Silas Harrison. Do you know him? Know him? Not personally, but I know who he is, certainly. You wouldn't happen to know where he lives, would you? I'm afraid not. I never had any cause to pay him any social calls at his home. My apologies. You know, it's days like these that make me realize I've got the perfect life. That's a lovely attitude to have, my dear. Your optimism is inspiring. Have a nice day, sir. You too, my dear. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, oh. Where did you come from? She looks like she just came from the quarantine zone. Don't be silly. You know nobody ever leaves that awful place. In any case, I'm sure you've got a lottery job you should be doing. Why don't you run along and leave us to our conversation? <laughs> Which reminds me, I need some new service. I was entertaining guests the other day and they kept interrupting. Good help just keeps getting harder to come by. Hello, Marishka. Amy, hello! Do you have any vegetables a raven might like to eat? Ravens? Yes, I see them around my garden all the time. They love my alfalfa sprouts. Have you got any for sale? Sure, but take this bag. On the house. Are you sure? Yes, I owe you after helping me with the guard. It's the least I can do. Thanks. You really shouldn't make trouble with the guards. I'm not making trouble. It's them who are causing all the problems. You know as well as I do, you haven't got a brother named Pavel. Well, they need to understand that life's not easy for us. It's not like they do anything about it anyway. Just try not to get so riled up, Marishka. He was trying to help you out. The day I take help from those dogs is the day I die. I have to go now. Okay, you come back and see me again soon, all right? Excuse me, sir. I got this bag of alfalfa sprouts. You know, so you can feed the birds. Thank you. This will certainly make the birds pleased.
Excuse me, sir. Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? That little raven up there isn't getting any food. You're right. I'll toss some extra food closer to it so it can eat. Those flying rats just knocked the waste bin over. Oh, the smell! Disgusting. I hope a street cleaner comes to clean it up. Seriously? Excuse me, sir? Hello, miss. Oh, what can I do for you? Do you know the two women over there? They're kind of rude. Them? No, oh, don't pay them any mind. They're just a couple of harpies who have nothing better to do with their time than gossip about everything. You should hear them any time the newsman reads out a headline. It's non-stop chatter. But please, let's discuss something more worthwhile, shall we? Have a nice day, sir. You too, my dear. I think you should have a look at this. Interesting. Attention citizens! The following is an important news bulletin. Silas Harrison, noted government philanthropist, has contracted green lung. He is due to begin medical treatment this evening. Anyone who has had contact with Harrison is advised to monitor their symptoms and to notify the Ministry of Medicine if they begin feeling ill. This concludes the news bulletin. Please resume your normal activities. Well, it's about time someone came. Now, what was that you were saying, Genevieve? Can you believe Harrison kept his disease to himself? I know. I was just at his manor last week. Now I'll need to go to the ministry and get checked. Everyone on Threadson Street will. He should know better than to throw parties if he's got green lung. I'll bet his gardener gave it to him. His love of topiaries will be the death of him. Interesting. A mansion on Threadson Street with topiaries. I just hope Harrison's tastes are unique. I'm Dr. Collins from the Ministry, here to see Mr. Harrison. Of course. He's in his room. Just walk down the hall. It's the fourth door to the left. still a way I can get close to the doctor without being seen. This window looks into a bedroom. This window looks into the kitchen. Either someone was careless or they just enjoy a cool breeze. Looks like there's nobody upstairs. This window looks into a bedroom. Time to do a little peeping. Good evening, Mr. Harrison. What seems to be the trouble? You know damn well what the trouble is. I've got that blasted plague. Hmm. What symptoms have you been having? Last week, the coughing started. Since then, it's only gotten worse. And yesterday, I hacked up some blood. I've had a fever all of today and haven't felt like eating anything since yesterday. Not to mention, I haven't been able to sleep a wink. Hmm, I see. Have you been in contact recently with anyone showing symptoms of the disease? Well, two weeks ago, I was relaxing outside in my yard when some vagrant came by to ask if I could spare any food. Well, naturally, I told him I couldn't, but he became belligerent when he heard that and spat in my face. To think, a man of my stature with green lung. I can't imagine the scandal. Green lung doesn't discriminate, Mr. Harrison. It can affect anyone. So can you do anything for me, Doctor? Not to worry. You're in good hands. Your support of the Ministry of Knowledge means you'll receive only the finest care the government can offer. I'm going to give you a dose of vaccine. That should fix you up by morning, but you'll need to get another dose in about a month's time. 
Why can't you eggheads at the Ministry of Medicine get off your collective asses and develop a cure already? We're trying, believe me. This isn't an easy disease to cure, but the treatment works almost instantly. You'll see. So I'm stuck getting this injection once a month for the rest of my life? I'm afraid so, although I'm sure you'll agree that it beats the alternative. Mm, yes, well, that is true. I could be dying in the streets like those filthy mongrels in the quarantine zone. Yes, with the monthly injection, you won't have to worry about entering the terminal phase. Let's not think about that. A dreadful business, really. Let's focus on my treatment. Of course. Just hold still a moment. There we go. You should feel like a new man in just a few hours. I'm going to leave an appointment card here for you. Just bring it to the Ministry of Medicine when you're due for your next vaccine dose. Can't I send my servant to get it for me and bring it back here? The green lung vaccine is a valuable commodity, Mr. Harrison. We don't release it to just anyone. So can't you just come back and shoot me up when it's time? I don't want to have to go all that way. We'll see. I know you've curried favor with the aristocracy, but I'll leave the card here just in case. Oh, and I'll leave a little something with your butler to help you sleep. But give the vaccine a few minutes to circulate before you take it. Oh, thank you, Doctor. I appreciate it. Think nothing of it. Feel better, Mr. Harrison. Hmm. That card is my ticket into the Ministry. But how am I supposed to get it? Damn! Where is that confounded servant of mine? I've given him a dose of vaccine. He should be back to normal by tomorrow. Oh, joy. I'm so relieved. If it's any help, I have some sleeping pills for him. He should be ready to take them shortly. Good. At least that'll give me some more peace for a while. Soon enough, he'll start ringing that damn bell for everything again. Well, I wish you luck. I need to head back to the Ministry now. Thank you, Doctor. Have a nice evening. You too. See how I can use that there. <laughs> Tomato. Rich, creamy, and all in all, an excellent soup. I just can't get enough of this stuff. My compliments to the chef. One word delicious. It's all gone. You rang for me, sir? About ten minutes ago? What on earth took you so long? I was... Never mind the excuses. Just give me one of those sleeping pills the doctor gave you. Yes, sir. Will you be wanting it with your usual lemon and elderberry tea? That's fine. Then if you'll excuse me, I'll return shortly. I thought he'd never get to sleep. Quietly now. So now I'm stealing an old man's only means of getting more vaccine. I really hope there's something in the Ministry worth finding, Danton. Oh no! No, please! Of all the times... 
times. Yeah, well, uh, who's there? Shit! Ophelia? Is that you? They, they told me you were dead. Oh, my dear Ophelia. Come back to take care of me. I'm sick. I knew you would. Ophelia? Are you there, my love? Was a little too close. Just had to come back, huh? Eh, I keep you around for some things. I'll knock it off, Amy. You sound almost happy to see me. Denby, you mentioned before you were good at copying handwriting. Yeah, sure. Do you think you could copy this doctor's writing? Shouldn't be a problem. What do you need me to do? Change the name on this card to mine. Oh, yeah. Easy. Just give me two minutes. There you go. Hey, nice job. Thanks. Don't get into any trouble, Dunby. I just forged a government document for you, Amy. I think that's kind of impossible now. Excuse me. What is it, citizen? I am here to see Dr. Collins. Is that so? I assume you have an appointment? Yes, I I've got my card right here. So you do? All right, I'll open the door for you. You'll be checked in and directed to his office. Enjoy your day, and I hope you'll feel better. Thanks. Here goes nothing. Uh, hello, miss. May I help you? I've got an appointment with Dr. Collins. I see. Is there a problem? Uh, well, how can I put this kindly? You don't exactly look like our normal type of visitor. What does that mean? It's just the way you're dressed. It's not typical of the people we normally see here. How exactly did you get your appointment, if I may ask? Oh, uh... I guess it's because I've got the perfect life. What? Is Danton stupid? Didn't she at least tell you to get a disguise? Well, she did, actually, but I found a better way. You do realize how much you stand out, right? If you try and see the doctor looking like that, they'll call security and have you escorted out. Then they'll start asking me questions about why I let you in, and things will only escalate from there. So, any ideas on how I can get a disguise? I'll have to think about it. Just don't go any further into the Ministry until we figure something out. Hey. What can I help you with? Is the central storage room accessible from here? Sorry, I don't know. They keep the location secret, and I'm not at a high enough rank to have that information. What's that panel used for? It's a directory. Navigating the Ministry can be a bit daunting, so it's designed to ease the process. People still manage to get lost, though. I don't know why they made this place so confusing. So have you thought of a place to get a disguise yet? Honestly, the only place I can think of would be the staff locker room. It's just down the hall. Hopefully you won't run into anybody on the way there. Just look it up on the directory so you know where to go. And be extremely careful. If my cover gets blown because of you... I'll be discreet, I promise. Thanks for your help. It's what I'm here for. Welcome to the Ministry of Medicine. Please select a destination or request directions. Uh, I'd like some directions, please. Please state the name of the room you would like directions to. The staff locker room? 
One moment, please. Walk down the hall two meters, then make a left. Do you require further directions? Dr. Collins' office. One moment, please. Follow the west wing hallway, three doors down, then make two rights, followed by a sharp left. It is the fourth door on the left. Do you require further directions? Nothing else, thanks. Thank you for using this directory. Have a pleasant day. This one is empty, but I can see the lock mechanism and it's surprisingly simple. It shouldn't be too tough to jimmy one of these open. I just need something thin to get in the door frame. This should do the trick. Aha! This set of clothes looks promising. All it's missing are some shoes. shoes. They look like they might fit. Right. I'd better make this quick. Oh, that was nice. I can't remember the last time I took a hot shower. Welcome to the Ministry of Medicine. Please select a destination or request directions. check in with the receptionist first. Yes, may I help you? I'm here to see Dr. Collins. Do you have your appointment card? Uh, yes, it's right here. Great. Hmm, Amy Wellard. I don't seem to have you in the registry. Is this your first visit? Yes. Okay, not a problem. Just fill out this form for me, have a seat, and we'll call you in shortly. Thanks. I'm just worried they're going to give him the maximum punishment. I don't know what to tell you. The aristocracy doesn't take kindly to that sort of thing. Have you been able to speak with him? No. They took him in for questioning yesterday. Not even family can see him until they decide what they're going to do. I guess the worst case scenario is he ends up in Rockwall for a few years. I can't believe he could be so selfish as to not even consider what this will do to his family. What am I supposed to tell my grandchildren? No, your daddy won't be home for Christmas because he was selling counterfeit lottery tickets to poor people. At least they'll know not to do what he did. Miss Wellard, you can go inside. Dr. Collins will be in to see you momentarily. Oh, and if you need to schedule a follow-up appointment, don't forget to speak to me afterwards. I should probably wait until the doctor gets here before I sit on the table. Well, maybe just one won't hurt. Well, maybe just two won't hurt. I'll just have one more. There's lots of scribbles and notes on here. Hmm, there's one that says, This week's CS password equals next week's surgery. That's probably important. I'll just copy it down. Doesn't look very comfortable. I should probably wait until the doctor gets here before I sit on the table. Good afternoon, Miss Wellard. Hello, Dr. Collins. I've been informed that this is your first visit, is that right? Yes, that's right. You look somewhat familiar. Are you sure you haven't been here before? Yes, I'm sure. You must just have one of those faces. In any case, what are you here for today? I have green lung. The symptoms started about a week ago. I see. 
If you'll just have a seat on the examination table, I'll do a quick checkup and administer your vaccine dose. There you are. You should notice a decrease in symptoms within the hour. Thank you, Doctor. Oh, Miss Wellard? Yes? I swore an oath to do no harm and heal the sick, so I would never turn away someone seeking vaccine. But I'd like to offer you a suggestion. When sneaking around other people's houses, don't stand so close to the windows. I'm sure you're aware of the consequences if you were ever caught. Understood. Yes, may I help you? I just want you to know, I've got the perfect life. Well, obviously you don't if you're seeing a doctor, but I'm glad you feel that way. I was told to schedule a follow-up appointment? Of course. Let me just show you our calendar, and you can pick a date that works best for you. It says, Surgery, Paul Scott, Medulla Oblongata. It says, Vaccination, Karen Schmidt. How about this date? Perfect. I'll pencil you in. All set. See you soon, Miss Wellard. Welcome to the Ministry of Medicine. Please select a destination or request directions. Uh, I'd like some directions, please. Please say the name of the room you would like directions to. Central Storage. One moment, please. Required. I'm sorry, you do not have proper clearance to access that information. Do you require further directions? Uh, medulla oblongata? Password accepted. One moment, please. Central storage is located to the left of the administrative cafeteria. It is the unmarked door next to the cleaning closet. Do you require further directions? Nothing else, thanks. Thank you for using this directory. Have a pleasant day. Well, if someone was careless enough to leave this box cutter here, we'll just go with the old finder's keeper's rule. Well, now if the alarm goes off, the alert will at least be limited to this room. should muffle the alarm if it goes off. Okay, let's get some of this cleaner in the bucket. This medical form will be more useful in here. This looks like a good spot. Here goes nothing. That did it. I'll put out the fire before it gets out of control. has been lying to everyone all along. This isn't right at all. The people need to know the truth. Amy Wellard, by order of the aristocracy, you are under arrest for trespassing on private property, breaking and entering, theft, and tampering with official Ministry of Medicine documentation. 
I'm sure there's been some kind of misunderstanding. Our orders are quite clear. You are hereby ordered to come with us for detention in Rockwall Prison. Don't I at least get some kind of trial first? We're here to escort you to Rockwall, not to answer questions. If you do not cooperate, we have authorization to shoot you on the spot. You are also ordered to return those stolen clothes to their proper location before leaving the Ministry. <sighs> Fine. Let's go. Wellard, we've got a visitor. Good evening. Tiberius, you can't let them keep me here. I'm very sorry, my dear, but things are a bit... complicated. I came to explain your position. Go on, then. I'm listening. Do you remember the day we were bombed, Miss Wellard? I can recall it quite well. I was young, but yes, I was in school. I lost a lot of friends that day. My mother, too. My condolences. You are aware that the reason we were attacked was for control of petroleum and mineral supplies, yes? Sure, but what has that got to do with anything? Rebuilding our society has not been an easy task. We still have much to do. Of utmost importance is maintaining order. Do you understand this? Then why are you telling people supplies of vaccine are limited? You could help everyone and work on finding a permanent cure. Yes, <laughs> you are correct. And if we were to cure the population and allow our society to thrive once more, what do you suppose would happen next? It would be great. People could live normal lives again, not have to worry about scavenging or dying of the plague. Oh, of course. And when a rival nation caught wind of that prosperity and decided we had something they wanted? Um... We would be attacked, experience the horror of war all over again. I would not wish the bombings we experienced on my worst enemy. I cannot let that happen again. I will not. Let it happen again. Do you understand me, Miss Wellard? I'm aware that the current system is not perfect. There is a clear class divide, but we are not tyrants. The aristocracy has always striven to care for the citizens who provide aid, despite their circumstances. In any case, I am genuinely sorry that things had to turn out this way. You did perform your job quite well, perhaps too well. I was just doing as you asked. I asked you to infiltrate the rebels and gain their trust. I did warn you that my protection could only go so far. You could easily have come back to me and informed me of Danton's plans to invade the Ministry. She threatened to have me killed if I set foot anywhere near your tower. What was I supposed to do? Informed one of my guards, sent along someone you trusted with the information. Though it hardly matters now, I've gotten all the information I need. But how? With this. A gold ball on a string? A clever listening device my soothsayer came up with. It was placed in the handle of your crossbow. I have been tracking you in order to ensure I learned the location of Danton's hideout. You've been spying on me this whole time? Why didn't you just tell me you were listening in? It was a test of loyalty, and unfortunately, you failed. It's truly a pity. I would have loved to give you your payment. You could have continued spying, opened up a mechanic shop, serving the government. Alas, I, I cannot reward criminal behavior. It would not be looked upon favorably by the public. We would lose the support of citizens like Mr. Harrison. So what, you're just leaving me in here to rot? I'm afraid not. Order must be preserved. I find myself forced to tie up loose ends. Danton and her rebels will be eliminated. As for you, it really does pain me to have to do this. But the truth is, I have no choice in the matter. You must be executed. What? Why? I understand this is difficult for you. However, my hands are tied. I simply cannot take the risk of keeping you alive. And what if I promise not to tell anyone about the vaccine horde? I'm afraid you've proven to me already that I can't trust you. In any case, I wish to thank you for your service. I'll make sure your execution is quick and painless. Goodbye, Miss Wellard. Again, I am quite sorry. Hmm. 
Huh? Hey, anybody out there? What are you yelling about in there? I'm innocent. I shouldn't be in here. Please. You know how many times a day I hear those exact words? It's at least 200 before lunch. So I'll tell you what I tell everyone else. If you were really innocent, you wouldn't be inside that cell right now. So drop it, would you? I'm hungry. Haven't you ever heard of a last meal? Sorry, but we don't have any food for prisoners. Most people in here don't stay long enough to justify having a last meal. There's a weird bird staring at me through the window. Yeah, sometimes they sit at the windows. Don't worry, the electrified mesh will keep them out. I need to go to the bathroom. So use the toilet in your cell. All you have to do is wave your hand over it and it'll open up. You know, I've got the perfect life. You do realize we know that's a code phrase, right? Uh, we were listening in on all your conversations. Well, it was worth a shot. Never mind. Most of this stuff is just junk. Hmm, what's this? Huh, looks like the previous occupant at least got a dose of vaccine. Oh well, an empty syringe might be useful in a scrape. It hasn't got any buttons or anything I can mess with on it. There is an opening at the bottom, though. I should get rid of this stupid thing, but maybe it can help me. Hmm, let's see if this works. Aha! Interesting. This wire could be helpful, and it makes this thing useless to Tiberius. Seems like a win-win situation. This should fit through the opening at the bottom. There. Hope this works. What are you doing, little guy? Well, I wasn't expecting that. What a smart bird. Right, time to get out of this hellhole. You have sent the soldiers to the market district? Yes, Minister Tiberius. They're heading over as we speak. Excellent. And the spy in the Ministry of Medicine? Taken care of. Good. With regards to Miss Wellard's execution, please be sure to tell the firing squad to aim for the head. Don't drag it out. Yes, Minister Tiberius. Oh, such unpleasantness. I really take no pleasure in having to do this sort of thing. I just hope it will all be over soon. Good evening to you. He's looking right at me, almost like he's waiting for instructions. Should be nice and loose now. Huh? I 
hope it's not too late to warn Danton about the attack. Oh no! Clem! Amy! Th that you? Yes, Clem. I'm here. V Maz! What's this? It looks like there was a note hidden inside the vase. No. <sighs> At least it looks like they put up a good fight. I just hope Danton managed to escape. D don't move! I know how to use this thing! Amy? What are you doing here? I'd ask you the same thing. What were you thinking? You could have killed me. Sorry. Pretty brutal in here, huh? I couldn't believe how many guards they sent in. Just hand over the crossbow before you have an accident, would you? Okay, fine. Here. Denby? Yeah? Where were you when the attack happened? Did you see anything? Not all of it, no. I mean, I saw like the guards walk past and bust down the door, but once the fighting started, I got out of there. Those guys looked like they meant business, and I wasn't going to stick around to see what they were going to do. Did you see if Danton managed to escape? Danton? The lady with the cool hat? Yes, that's her. Yeah, I saw her run outside and kill a couple of guys with her sword. It was awesome. I'm sure it was. Did you see where she went? Nah, she ran off with a couple of guys. I didn't go after them. Well, at least I know she made it out alive. What are you doing back there? I'm scavenging. Isn't it obvious? No need to snap, Denby. Sorry. It's just that a couple of guards came by the factory and I had to leave, so I've got no place to stay right now. Well, did they see you? No. I was able to hear them coming and got away. What are you looking for? I heard these rebels had some information on where to get vaccine. And why would that interest you? Um, no reason. Denby, you can tell me. You know that. Last week, I went into the quarantine zone looking for parts to sell to Gordon, and... Well, I thought I'd been careful, but this morning, I started coughing up blood. Denby, what the hell? Your mother is going to kill you! Great. It'll save the green lung the trouble. I can still die pretty. If you're desperate, fine. But why on earth did you go into the quarantine zone? Because that's where the best stuff is. Nobody goes in there, so everything in the buildings is more or less intact. It sucks, I know, but I knew the risks going in. How did you manage to get back out? I thought it was designed to keep people in for good. You just have to know where to look. What's all the stuff on the blackboard? I don't know. It looks like a bunch of scribbles and some pegs. For all I know, it could be some kind of secret code, but I have no idea what it means. Hmm. Never mind. Denby? Yeah? You're absolutely sure the guards didn't see you back at the factory? Yeah, positive. Why? Here, take this. You have a lottery ticket? Why would you give this away? It's a long story, but let's just say it's no use to me anymore. Hang on, does this mean... Just take the ticket and get out of here, Denby. You've got enough to worry about as it is. Thanks, Amy. I wish I had something to repay you with, but all I have are these strings I found back here. It's fine, you don't have to worry about it. Well, I mean, you might as well take them. It's not like I'm really gonna do anything with them. Okay, fine. Thanks, Denby. Good luck. Morbid, but maybe I can use it. I don't think I should pull the pegs out. They look deliberately placed. This rope is way too thick to wrap around the pegs. I'll need something thinner.
Milton? Of course. That was the name of the technician in Sector 82. It's a long shot, but it's all I've got. Minister Tiberius, I have news. Go on, then. The attack on the rebel base was mostly successful. We suffered a few casualties, but we managed to eliminate the majority of the traitors. Mostly successful? Their leader managed to escape with a few others. She's no pushover, that one. Yes, this much was made clear from the start. I suppose this can be considered a small victory. Although the inconvenience of finding Danton again will be great, at least we've managed to quell their growth. Very good. If that is all, you are dismissed. Ah, there is one more thing. Yes? I've just checked with Rockwall, and... The prisoner, Wellard, somehow managed to escape. I see. Call her number. But, Minister Tiberius, will that work? Surely she's not foolish enough to... Whether she is or is not is none of your concern. Just do as I say and call her number. And a word of advice. Question my methods again, and I'll have you hanged from my balcony. Is that clear? Yes, Minister Tiberius. It won't happen again. Good. Now get out of my sight. I'm sorry you had to hear that. You know I dislike having to be unpleasant, but sometimes I'm left with no choice. Hush now. Don't worry your sweet little head. You will always be safe, so long as I am here. Attention citizens, it is now time for this week's vaccine lottery drawing. We are pleased to announce that the winning ticket number is 3211420. Vaccination may be claimed at Willowdale Plaza, next to the Ministry of Medicine. Congratulations to the winner. I don't believe it. Well, at least Denby will get his vaccine. If it isn't Little Red Riding Hood. I don't know how you found us, but you've got a lot of nerve coming back. You have a right to be angry, but I'm not your enemy. You betrayed us. Tell me, why would an ally do that? I am not a traitor. Please stop denying things. It makes you look even worse. Tiberius destroyed our base and killed several of our people. You're the only person who could have tipped him off. You are nothing more than a liability. I let you go before, but I'm not making the same mistake twice. You're not leaving here alive. You know, threatening people is an odd way of thanking them for their help. Help? Just exactly what have you done to help us? Did you forget already how I risked my life sneaking into Harrison's mansion in the Ministry of Medicine? I was doing exactly what you asked me to do when I got arrested and thrown in prison. Now I'm a fugitive, all because I was trying to help you. They put you in Rockwall? Nobody ever gets out of there. How did you escape? It's a long story. Look, I came here to see if you were still alive. I found your message at the old hideout because I was trying to warn you that Tiberius had located it. He tricked me. I was bugged the whole time. He heard everything. And I had no idea. I see. I'm sorry. We've been through so much in such a short amount of time, it's hard to know what to believe. So what did you find out in the Ministry of Medicine? The aristocracy is hoarding vaccine. Crates of it. Enough to treat the whole population. I knew it. Those bastards. Once the public hears about this... Forgive me, Amy. If I had known you were in Rockwall... It's fine. I got out on my own. Next time, if you could stop to ask me questions before trying to kill me, I'd appreciate it. So what now? We need time to think about our next move. 
This news is a lot to take in. You're free to stay here with us if you need to. I wouldn't go wandering around out there if the aristocracy knows you've escaped from Rockwall. Thanks. I appreciate it. Danton? What is it, Amy? There was so much vaccine. How long do you think they've been hoarding it? I don't know, but any amount of time is too long. But at least now, we have the information we need to bring about some real changes. So, considering I almost died finding all this out, is there anything we can actually do? For now, I'm not sure. This is a fairly important bit of information we have. One option would be to somehow hack into the government PA system and spread the word that way. It would definitely be a welcome change from all those annoying propaganda messages and rigged lottery announcements. The only issue we face is getting some sort of proof to back up our claims. I think that will have to be our next course of action. Wait a minute. The lottery is rigged? Are you positive? Yes. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but the vaccine hoarding isn't the first secret the government has been keeping. The aristocracy knows exactly who is assigned to each ticket and can keep tabs on them if the need arises. Why didn't you mention this earlier? You knew I had a ticket! Yes, I know and I'm sorry. I didn't think you were in danger until we were attacked. Oh no. Denby! What? I gave my ticket to my friend Denby. They called my number just before I came down here. Crafty bastards. They probably figured you'd give your ticket away. If someone else shows up to claim the vaccine, they'll take him in for interrogation to find out where he got it from. I have to stop him before he gets to Willowdale Plaza. You plan to enter that nest of vipers? I do. I don't suppose you'd care to help. We've taken a heavy hit. I'm sorry, but I just can't spare anyone right now. I figured as much. It's fine. I can handle this on my own. Godspeed, Amy. I hope you manage to get to him before the aristocracy does. I wouldn't wish a government interrogation on anyone. Danton? What is it, Amy? You mentioned having lost a lot of people. How many? About six. They fought well, but there were just too many guards. We had no choice but to escape. This attack has left us severely weakened. It's going to be a while before we're able to even think about striking out against Tiberius. Thankfully, Clem managed to warn us before they stormed the hideout. If it hadn't been for him, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. Clem was a good man. That he was. But we sorely missed. Of all the places to hide, why here? It seemed like the last place the aristocracy would look. As long as we keep the reactor running, they'll have no reason to bother sending anyone snooping around. Besides, I wanted to come back here to make sure Milton didn't become raven food. He deserves a proper burial. We'll talk soon. Okay. She's really jumped in, hasn't she? Yes. We could use more people like her. I just hope she knows what she's doing. Damn it! I'm too late. Maybe I can still get to him before they do anything too drastic. Right, this should work. I really hope this holds. Why are you doing this to me? I haven't done anything wrong! I'm afraid your assessment is not entirely correct, young man. I should have known this was Tiberius's doing. Where is he hiding? You had in your possession a ticket for the vaccine lottery, which was not issued to you. We cannot have the order of our system disrupted by people stealing tickets from those who earned them fairly. I didn't steal it! Then perhaps you would care to clarify how you came to have it. And please keep in mind that we value the truth above all else here. Lying will have severe consequences. I, I found it! You found it. Yeah, in the place you guys raided in the market district. Hmm. It looks as though we will be here for some time still. Alphonse? <coughs> Perhaps you'd care to tell me the truth this time. I quite hate having to do this. I can't just stand here and watch this. I need to help Denby. But how? 
god, Denby. I'm so sorry. Ah, it seems Miss Wellard met my expectations after all. Quite noble of you to put the boy out of his misery, Miss Wellard. A true mark of your character. A shame no one can do the same for you. Now, please, don't try anything foolish. I don't want any more bloodshed if I can avoid it. Going somewhere? Yes, and you're in my way. You really are a feisty one. You been in to check on her today? Not yet. I wanted to give her some time on her own. Her breathing's been getting stronger. Wouldn't surprise me if she's on her feet in the next day or two. Mm. She's just lucky you found her when you did. What the hell do you suppose she got up to to make the wig head so keen on finding her? I don't know. They've seemed to ease up a bit at least. They're not patrolling the market district anymore, but the posters are still up. Have any more guards been here? Not after I sent the first one packing. What I really want to know is how she... You know, I'm right here. Amy! Stone the Ravens. How are you feeling? Like hell. You shouldn't be on your feet too long in your condition. Come over here and sit. We'll have a talk. How long was I out for? About three weeks. Three weeks? That's... oh, God. Yeah. It was touch and go for a while, but I, I knew you'd make it. You're a tough nut, Amy. Just like your dad. Exactly how did I end up here? That's the thing. We don't really know. What? Pop sent me out into the field to pick up some of the sheep carcasses. And I just found you lying there next to the fence. Do you remember what happened to you? I... not really. No. What's the last thing you do remember? There was a guard. A big guy. He cornered me outside and we started fighting. He stabbed me with his bayonet. That's how I was injured in the first place. But when I found you, someone had treated your wound and bandaged you up. Are you sure there isn't anything else you've forgotten? I saw... the Reaper. Come again? The Reaper. I was laying on the ground, bleeding out. And... he appeared. You're not gonna go all zealot nutjob on me, are you? You know the Reaper's just a myth. But I also know what I saw. It was definitely him. He's real. He came over to me and said he had come to ease my pain. He was dressed all in black, had a skull for a face, bony hands. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it. Hmm. You sure the blood loss didn't make you delirious? If what you saw was actually the Reaper, the stories say that you should be dead. I can tell you firsthand that this ain't heaven. So who was it that fixed you up and brought you to us? It's him. I just know it. Well, I think we should just forget about it. What matters is that you're alive and safe here with us. I'm not staying here, Gus. There's too many questions I need answered. The Reaper didn't let me die. I need to know why. I need to talk to those cultists. You don't want to go near them, Amy. Look, I know you don't understand what's happening. I'm grateful for you looking out for me. I am. But I need to find the truth. Please accept that. Bad idea. The aristocracy's been looking for you. I can handle myself. You just spent the past three weeks in bed. Do you want to get yourself killed? What do I really have to lose at this point? Amy, please. Well, if you're set on it, we know there's no stopping you. But remember, we love you. You've always got a place here. Amy, please take care of yourself. We can't lose you two. I'll try my best. Here, take this bolt. I know it's not a lot, but I can't send you out there unarmed. Thanks. That's right. Take a load off. So I'm being hunted by the aristocracy? 
They've eased off a bit, but they were really cracking down a couple of weeks ago. I've had to avoid the market district for a while, just because I was sick of being harassed every day. I think they got tired and mostly gave up after a while. They still have wanted posters up, but nobody's blabbed. You've got yourself some pretty loyal friends. Thank you. I'm sorry to have caused you trouble. Are your sheep doing any better with the blue burglar? As a matter of fact, they are. A week after I planted it, it was sprouting up everywhere. And the sheep love it. Too early to tell just yet, but I think we might just be okay for next season. Glad to hear it. Anything else I should know about the Reaper cult? Just that you should stay away from them if you can help it. I don't want to see you dancing around chanting mumbo jumbo. Come on, Pop. Amy's got a good head on her shoulders. You know she's not capable of being taken in by people like that. I've seen some people I thought were pretty level-headed get swept up in their nonsense. I don't know what they're drinking, but be careful, Amy. I'll be fine. Both of you, relax. It's easy for you to say. I really should be going. Come back anytime you want to rest. We'll be here. Please be careful out there, Amy. I'll see you guys later. Take care of yourself out there, Amy. Ripping down a wanted poster isn't going to magically make me innocent again. Wanted, Amy Wellard, for crimes including breaking and entering, theft, trespassing, and murder. Wellard is considered armed and dangerous. Anyone with information on her whereabouts is instructed to report to the Ministry of Energy. Hello, Marishka. Amy, get away from here. Guards are looking for you. Be careful. Thanks for the warning, Marishka, but I'll be fine. Please go, Amy. Do not stay here. Uh, excuse me? May I help you? Do you know where the Reaper is? Believe me, if I did, I'd be gone already. I think I need to worship the Reaper. Well, this is certainly a different attitude from the last time we spoke. If I may ask, what caused you to change your mind? I... I'm ready to join. I promise. Are you? What troubles you? All this time, I've just been trying to survive, but compared to everything else that's been going on, it seems kind of pointless now. I mean, my green lung vaccine will be wearing off soon. Two of my friends are dead because of me, and the government wants my head. I just don't know what to do anymore. I don't know how to keep living like this. I'm lost. I need help, and I don't know where to go. It's all right. You came to the right place. Go talk to Claire in front of the cathedral. Tell her you are ready. Good luck on your journey to death, young lady. May the Reaper take you swiftly and peacefully. Thanks. Hi there. Welcome. What may I help you with? Who are you, miss? I'm Claire. Who are you? Amy. I'm guessing you're one of the acolytes of the Reaper? You guessed correctly. I'm here to make sure those who pass through that door are ready to die. That seems like a pretty lofty responsibility to give to one person. Not as much as you would think. Most people are worthy. They just don't know it yet. What are you all doing here? Worship. We worship the Reaper and wait for our times to come. When any of our members expire, it's cause for celebration. Are there many of you? Around 50 of us currently, but we always accept those who truly seek death into our flock. I think you should know that I've got the perfect life. And you could have the perfect death if you embrace the Reaper. I... I... Are you alright? You seem troubled. I don't know. Things have just been so hard and... It's okay. You're safe here. Tell me what's happening. 
I'm just trying to make things right, but every time I think it's getting better, something worse happens. I didn't want any of this to happen. I just wanted to fix my dad's car before I die. So you're dying then? Yeah, I don't have long. Then, are you ready to die? I... I think so. Yes. I just want to see my loved ones again. Say no more then. Go inside and speak with our leader, Jess. She'll be glad to welcome you to the Acolytes. I'm scared, Claire. That's entirely natural. Just know that you are safe here. Nobody wants to hurt you. You're in welcome arms. May death come to you swiftly, fellow seeker. Ah, young lady. I'm so pleased to see you've decided to join us here. Please, make yourself at home and feel welcome. The Acolytes of the Reaper are glad to have you here to celebrate with us and await your time of passage to the Promised Land. Follow me and have a seat. You're just in time to hear their daily affirmation. Brothers and sisters, as another sun sets, we seek comfort in the knowledge that we are all one day closer to the Promised Land. Although no members of our flock have taken the great journey today, tomorrow still awaits. Always remember that no matter how terrible things may seem for us here, the Promised Land will heal all our pain and suffering. We are all here, born into this struggle, to come so far and end up returning to dust. Now let us join together in a moment of silence to honor the Reaper and pray for a visit from him soon. Let the music and celebration begin. May death come swiftly for us all. Hello there. Hi. What's your name, kiddo? Maggie, what's yours? I'm Amy. How old are you, Maggie? Seven. That's kind of young to be in a place like this. Mommy brought me here. She's been coughing and tried to get better. Then I started coughing too. She says that if I pray to the Reaper, I won't hurt anymore. When did you start living here with the other cult, uh, the other worshippers? About two weeks ago, after Daddy died. Mommy and I were really sad, but one day she went out to the market and when she came back, she said she'd found a way for us to be with him again. So we came here and met all these nice people. Sometimes I still feel sad, but they help me feel happy again. Have a good day. May the Reaper take you! I shouldn't bother them. They're really into their music. Hi there, I'm Amy. Reaper bless our meeting. I'm Norman. Pleasure. So, what made you decide to follow the Reaper? Well, as you probably noticed, I'm no spring chicken. I lost my wife on Blast Day. My children both died of green lung this year. I'm so sorry to hear that. Why would you say that? There was much suffering in their lives. Yes, I was sad that they left this world so early, but the Reaper tells us true. There is a better world beyond this one. To grieve for them when they are in the Promised Land, it makes no sense. I'll see you later, Norman. May death come for you swiftly, Amy. Hi there, I'm Amy. I'm new here. I thought so. Welcome into the Reaper's Embrace, Amy. I'm Ellie. What brought you to join the Acolytes? When my family found out I had green lung, they kicked me out. I wasn't angry at them, but I felt so alone. I hated the idea of dying with so many things left unfinished. But then Jess found me and took me in. She told me the word of the Reaper. I was so happy to learn that I could find a better life after death, that this was only one step in a larger plan. It's so much better to die happy and among friends than alone with no guidance. Have you seen your family again? My mother saw me preaching in the market once and ran away. They don't understand, but it's their choice not to. I have all the family I need here. I'm going to go now. We'll talk later. Have a blessed day. May death come for you swiftly. 
Are you enjoying yourself? Yes, but I had some questions for you. I'll be happy to answer them. So, what is it you do in here? We wait for our appointed times, when the Reaper will appear to us and guide us through the ether to the Promised Land. Every one of us has an expiration date, if you will. We gather here and hope that ours will be this very day. When one of us does pass on, we celebrate them and ask the Reaper to consider us for the next journey. In the meantime, we enjoy each other's company and express our adoration for the Reaper and his grim task. Is there a reason everyone wears a top hat? As a sign of reverence and respect, our leader has described the figure of the Reaper to us many times. He wears a tall black hat and long robes. You must have noticed the symbol we have adopted to represent him incorporates the image of the hat. I did notice that, yes. By wearing these hats, we feel a closeness, a kinship with him. How come Jess doesn't wear one? She chooses not to. Her reasons are her own. Can anyone join your group if they want to? Yes. Anyone who is prepared to face and accept the inevitable is welcome to join us. How do you know when people are ready? The sincerity of wanting to die can't be easily faked. When I first spoke with you, you clearly weren't ready. It was easy to tell when you were. Isn't it possible to misjudge? Of course. But most people who aren't truly ready to die don't normally stay in the flock for very long. It has happened before, and it's a pity to lose them, but hopefully they will return someday. What brought you into the flock? I was looking for solace. Last year, I lost my entire family to Greenlung. I was devastated. And one day, I was walking through the market district and, like you, happened to speak to a fellow acolyte. She told me about the Reaper, how we shouldn't fear death, and my eyes were opened. Rather than mourn my family, I should be happy for them. After all, isn't there no better reward than to be taken from this miserable world to some place better? They have known the Reaper and seen his benevolence. All I can do is hope for the same. My former life has no meaning. My future lies in the next world, and the Reaper will take me there when the time comes, so I may be with my loved ones again. Does that answer your question? I... yes. I think it does. I think you will find that many of my brothers and sisters joined for similar reasons. I'll speak to you later. I look forward to it. Excuse me? Yes? Are you the leader of the Reaper Cult? Indeed. My name is Jess. Welcome. I'd prefer it if you didn't use such a pejorative word to describe us, though. We're the Acolytes of the Reaper. Please address us by that name, if you would. Of course. I'm sorry. My name is Amy, by the way. A pleasure, Amy. May you find the peace you seek here. Can you tell me about the Reaper? Of course. Was there anything in particular you wanted to know? Who is he? He is our savior, the shepherd, the psychopomp. He is the one who would lead us to the promised land, the life beyond. Heaven? It has many names. Heaven, paradise, nirvana, the promised land. But though the names vary, the concept remains the same. Can you be sure it will be better? Or that there even is a promised land? Even if what lies beyond death is nothing but oblivion, it would still be better than this world. I suppose so. What does the Reaper do? He removes us from the misery of this life and takes us beyond. How? His legion of ravens patrols the skies and searches for the sick and dying. They appear to those who are near death and summon him. Ravens? Yes, ravens with red eyes that refuse to sing. If you see one, it means he is near. I've seen quite a few of them, actually. Then consider yourself lucky, Amy. You are not long for this world. 
What's your reason for worshipping him? I was once a non-believer, but I had an experience many years ago that changed everything. What happened? I saw him, and I lived. At first I didn't know why, but in time I came to understand. I was chosen. It became my duty to spread his word. Death is coming for us all. We must embrace it rather than fear it. Does that mean you're a suicide cult? I asked you not to use that word. Right, sorry. And no, we are not. To die by our own hands would disrupt the Reaper's pattern. We all have our allotted times, and expediting those would anger him. So we wait and comfort each other in our last days. Do you know where I can find the Reaper? Your time will come. Just be patient. No, you don't understand. I've already seen him. I need to find him again. You've seen him? Yes, a few weeks ago. Did he speak to you? He did. He said he was going to ease my pain. And yet, here you are. When I saw him, I was fighting for my life. It took me three weeks just to stand again. I didn't want to die. Now, I don't know. I just want to see my friends and family again. I'm sorry you've been through so much. You need to find out why you were robbed of your passage to the Promised Land. You need to have the vision. The what? It's a ritual we have for those who seek communion with the Reaper. It will allow you to speak to him and ask whatever questions you want. Go through that door there. It will lead you to a courtyard. Sit on the bench. Underneath it, you will find a decanter. Drink from it. You will soon go into a deep trance. If you are lucky, he will come to you. That's all I wanted to know about the Reaper for now. Very well. So, why is there a plane sticking out of this church? The story goes that on the day the world ended, there was an airplane flying overhead that got caught in the blast. It ended up crashing into this cathedral, killing all those on board, as well as everyone inside the building. That's awful. Is it? They were spared the misery of the world after the catastrophe. I rather envy them, to be honest. Have a good day. May death come to you swiftly, fellow seeker. This wreckage is horrifying, but maybe there's something I can use. There's a loose piece of shrapnel here with a sharp edge. You can never have too many weapons. I'm so glad Gus and Pop aren't here to see this. Yeah. Oh, my head is swimming. What was in that decanter? Amy. That sounded like... Clem? You've sure had a hell of a time, huh, Amy? How are you holding up? You know what you have to do now, right? I don't know. I'm just ready to give up. Don't do that just yet. I can help you. Follow me. Why are we here, Clem? I thought the whole point of this was to talk to the Reaper. You've got some jumbled thoughts going around your head. You need to get those sorted out. How am I supposed to do that? There's some folks who will help you with that. Hey, Amy. Denby. Hello again, Wellard. Oh, God, not you again. Hey, kiddo. Dad. Each of them is here to help you put your thoughts together. I'll just leave you to it. See you soon, Amy. Denby. I'm so sorry. I didn't want to kill you. I just couldn't bear to see you suffer like that. Hey, don't apologize. It's not your fault. What you did was for the best. There's something I need to show you. Come with me. What's going on? You know how you've been seeing all those ravens? Yes, something has been bothering me about them. So think about it. What exactly is it about them that's bothering you? 
It's just a regular raven, like the ones I saw at Fripp Square and Pop's Farm. All they do is wait to eat things and make noise. Sure, that's what ravens do, isn't it? A raven with red eyes. This is like the one that helped me escape Rockwall. Hang on, I didn't realize just how crazy that sounds. How could a bird help someone escape from jail? I don't know. Seems kind of weird to me, too. It doesn't make sense. The ravens I've been seeing with the red eyes. I've never seen another living thing with eyes that glow like that. What sort of things have you seen that do? Shards, electric lights, artificial things. That's right. So that means these ravens aren't real? Makes sense to me. But they fly, and they clearly understand commands. Whoops. Of course, they're mechanical. But if that's the case, who's controlling them? Excellent question. You'll find an answer, I'm sure. You should head back. Don't forget what we talked about. I, I won't. Goodbye, Denby. I miss you. Miss you too, Amy. Take care of yourself. Very good, Amy. Amy. Now jump. jump. Dad, it's great to see you again. Great to see you too, kiddo. How have you been? I've been better. How come you never told me you were a rebel? Becoming a rebel was my choice to make. I wanted you to live as carefree as possible. The less you knew, the more time you could spend playing with your friends. Being a kid. I... I think I understand. Now come on. We've got work to do. Right. Let's get back to work. It's been way too long. It's so close to being done, and yet so far. Okay, let's get to work. Ah, crap, I completely forgot. Gordon brought that fan in before. Said it was giving him trouble. I'll take care of it. Shouldn't be more than a couple minutes. That's my girl. It's so close to being done, and yet so far. Not right now. Dad needs me to take care of Gordon's fan. Let's see here. There, kid stuff. Good going, kiddo. Now we can focus on the car. Right. Now we can get started. Well, wouldn't you just know it? If it's not one thing, it's another. Nelson's pump was always giving me problems. I'll, I'll take care of it. Right. This shouldn't take too long. Done. No sweat. Nice one. Finally, we can get started. Have you been able to find the missing parts? Daddy, I'm so sorry. I wanted to finish fixing it. I I wanted to have something to remember you by. But I've been so busy running the shop and then I got sick and I don't think I'm going to live long enough to be able to do it. Hey, now, none of that. It's all right. You've been dealt a horrible hand, worse than most, and you've been so strong through it all. An old car isn't worth your life, kiddo. I just feel like I'm failing you. I'm so sorry. Failing me? Amelia Grace Wellard, you stop that nonsense right now. You've already done more with the Rebels than I ever did. It's gonna change the world. You've got too much left to live for. Too many people depend on you. You can't give up here. Okay, I, I know you're right. I think I just needed to hear someone say it. Thank you, Daddy. I'm your dad. It's what I do. It was great seeing you again. I love you. Love you too, sweetheart. I thought I killed you. Indeed. And I almost killed you. Luckily for me, that moment lives on in your memory. Let's go revisit it, shall we? You know, I thought you were done for after our little disagreement. And then when the Reaper swooped in, pure poetry. 
What was it he said to you, anyway? I'm dying to know. He said he could ease my pain. Oh, is that all? No. No, he said something else, just as I was blacking out. That's right, he did. What was it? I can't remember. Can't remember or don't want to remember. Mental blocks sure are problematic, aren't they? I'd rather not get too close. It looks dangerous. There's blood dripping from the end of it. I'm feeling a sense of deja vu. I'd rather not get too close. It looks dangerous. You're in my way. Yes, that's the nature of mental blocks. What are you going to do about it? I'm really sick of you. Relax. I've come to ease your pain. I'm a doctor. Doctor? Get everything sorted? I think so, yes. Great. Time to send you back. Thanks for all your help, Clem. I'm sorry about... Don't you worry about that, Amy. I went out helping the Rebels. Couldn't have asked for much more than that. Now you get yourself back, and you do your part. I know everything will turn out fine. was intense, but I only have more questions. I've got to find the Reaper. Only he has the answers. Wait a minute. Where did you come from? Okay, you've obviously brought me something. Let's have it. Welcome back. I hope you were successful in your communion with the Reaper. Hey, Jess. Does this mean anything to you? Where... where did you get that? A uh, raven brought it to me. I know that sounds ridiculous, but... No! No, not at all. That painting, it, it's what started all of this. This is clearly a sign from the Reaper. I'm not quite following here. Eighteen years ago, I was keeping my friend Wilson company while he was on a lottery job for Tiberius. He had been sent to fix a water pump, and the ruins of the building it was in had a copy of that painting. When he had finished the job, I, I asked him to get it for me, and... And? Apparently, Wilson had green lung, but hadn't told me. He said he was getting the vaccine for his sister. I saw a raven right before Wilson collapsed. The Reaper appeared shortly after. He came to claim Wilson's soul. That's when I had my epiphany. Where did this all happen? It was in Sector 67, in a collapsed building next to a parking lot. Huh. It's a long shot, but it might be worth investigating. I can only hope the Reaper visits you so you may find peace. Yeah, thanks. Well, did you have the vision? I did. It was certainly something. Wonderful. I won't ask any more. Each person's vision is unique and private, but I hope it gave you the guidance you were seeking. Oh, it did. Believe me. How come you don't wear a hat like everyone else? When I saw the Reaper, the encounter left me feeling terrified. My hair turned white, seemingly overnight. 
When I began spreading the word, I decided to use my hair as a symbol of my encounter, as proof that what I saw was real. To cover it up with a hat would be a disservice to his legacy. Have a good day. May death come to you swiftly, fellow seeker. Nelson, does this mean anything to you? Ah, yes. That page is from one of my art books. There was a young lady here several years ago who was reading it, and when she got to that page, she became very upset and tore it out. Ran off, screaming about the Reaper. It was very odd. The Reaper? Yes, I think she said something about having seen him. As I said, it was many years ago. It's difficult to remember. That's fine. Thanks for the information. This is still in really good condition. It might be worth having. This can't be a coincidence. Someone is leaving me a trail. This symbol looks familiar. Where have I seen it before? This token matches the one on the train. Fits perfectly. What was that noise? something coming from the next car. Hold it right there. Keep your hands where I can see them and don't make any sudden moves. Now who are you and what are you doing on my train? My name is Amy Wellard and I mean you no harm. I'm a friend. A friend, huh? You can't fool me. I know a scavenger when I see one. Lucky for you, I'm not in the mood to clean up any messes today. I'll let you see yourself out, but if you touch anything, you're gonna have to answer to old Betsy here. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Come on out here, you old flea bag. Ain't nothing too dangerous out here. I know, I know, I'll feed you now, you old beggar.
Still here, huh? I got my eye on you, so don't try anything funny. Uh, hi. What is it? Do you live here all alone? No. I got that fatso over there to keep me company, and it suits me fine. I just want you to know, I've got the perfect life. Good for you. My life would be perfect if you got off my train. Surviving in the wastes can't be easy. Take a look around. I got everything I need here, and what I don't have, I go out and find. So, you're a scavenger? No. I don't go into places where people live and take their things. I'm not here to steal anything. I didn't even know you lived here. Uh-huh. Where did you find all these things? I haven't seen living trees in the wastes for a long time. I didn't find it anywhere. It's all mine. I just carted it all out here when I shacked up on this train. Where did you come from? That's really none of your business. What do you know about the Reaper? The Reaper? I remember hearing some rumors about a guy they were calling the Reaper. Way back, around the time the plague started. Supposedly, there were some burrs that many was coming to kill you, but I never ran into him myself. Hadn't thought about that in years, actually. I'll just be on my way. Hmm. This is just like the one Mom and Dad used to have. It looks like it's missing the needle, but fixing it wouldn't be too tough. Fits perfectly. That should work now. Uh, hi. What is it? Your record player's fixed. Is that right? And what exactly are you expecting from me in return? Nothing. Look, I'm not here to get something from you. Why I'm here has nothing to do with you. Well, that's how the world works. Nobody does something good for nothing. Some people do. I think you've been out here so long, you've forgotten humans can be good once in a while. This world eats good people for breakfast. I don't know what you're looking for, but I hope you find it. I'll just be on my way. Alrighty. Hey, where did you find that? Over near Sector 67, do you know anything about it? I noticed the logo on the coin was the same as on this train. It's the logo for South Coast Transit. They own this railroad along with the public transportation system in the city. That there is a subway token. Before the blast, people would use those to ride the train underneath the city. Really? I had no idea there was an underground train in the city. Doesn't surprise me. Almost all the stations collapsed after the blast. There's only one left standing. Where can I find it? It's not too far from the quarantine zone. Just head up Roth Avenue and keep your eye out for the Wallies. The station is right next to it. Be careful down there. There's a whole network of tunnels. Don't want you to get lost. Don't worry. I'm not planning on wandering around in the tunnel mazes. That did it. There, that should work. Well, it accepted my token. a rope and a freed mannequin. Two birds with one stone. These clothes would probably fall apart if I touched them. I don't think it's fit to be worn.
creepy. Those are some nice gloves it's got on, though. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Hmm, this isn't in as good a condition as I thought. Only useful part in here is this fuse. I might as well hang on to it. Dead. Although, I might be able to take a look inside and get it working again. There, that wasn't so tough. Poking around in there with my fingers probably isn't the best idea. These won't help any. They're not made of rubber. These don't look too complex. It just looks like the main fuse is blown. I sure hope this works. Here goes nothing. Not a bad idea. Anticipated. What is this place? Weird. I wonder what these are for. These look like security monitors. What are they doing here? Aha! Uh -huh. Just what I thought. They're mechanical. Full of lots of unmarked bottles. I wonder what they're for. Anatomy, infectious diseases, biology, quite a collection. Ah, Amy Wellard. You found me. I was hoping you would. How did you... I realize you probably have many questions. I can give you all the answers you need. But first, allow me to make myself more presentable. So you are human. Yes. I'm sorry to disappoint you if you were expecting more. I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest. You told me you were a doctor. Yes, Dr. Edwin Aquino, at your service. I was once the leader of the Green Lung Vaccine Development Team, but after learning about their vaccine distribution, or lack thereof, that quickly changed. Hang on, you knew about the vaccine hoarding? Why didn't you tell anyone? That would have started violent riots. It's not fair to begin a civil war when it would end without a cure for the illness. I wanted to say something. It hurt not to, but the time wasn't right. You didn't think the people deserved to know? They do, and they will. But not while we only have a vaccine and not a cure. With a permanent cure, the aristocracy's hoarding becomes irrelevant, and the focus will be on eradicating the disease. I... I guess that makes sense. Why the mechanical ravens? What do they do? Rather clever little inventions, wouldn't you say? They have video transmitters in their eyes and audio transmitters in their beaks. I use them as scouts, since I can control them remotely. Did you make them? No, someone else did, a long time ago. In any case, they've served me quite well, at least the ones that haven't broken. I have very few left, 
which is going to be a problem at some point. You've been following me with your birds. Why am I of such interest to you? You did a lottery job for the Ministry of Energy. That's right. What of it? You've got the disease. You're fighting to survive. You're clever and resourceful. Exactly what I need. Exactly what do you need? After I left the Ministry of Medicine, I began my attempts at developing a permanent cure for Green Lung. It was a long process, which took over ten years. But just last month, I had a breakthrough and was able to make this. Is that...? Yes. This is the cure for Green Lung. I've been testing it and it seems to work, but I need to be certain. Aside from that, I don't have the information necessary to mass produce the cure, though I suspect Tiberius keeps it somewhere in the Ministry of Energy. So what is it you need from me? We're both fugitives, Amy. I can't put myself at risk by going to the places I need to. If I'm killed or captured, my research will have all been for nothing. You can clearly take care of yourself. I saw how you handled things at Rockwall Prison and Willowdale Plaza. You helped me out both of those times. I merely provided some assistance. Your survival was your own doing. Now I realize it's a bit much to ask, but your help would be incredibly valuable. Not just to me, but to the future of humanity. It's not really much to ask. I owe you my life, after all. Thank you, Amy. I appreciate it. The main thing I need is to find out where Tiberius is keeping my research on mass production. At some point, I'll also need a subject to test the cure on, so I can be absolutely sure it works. Do you have any questions? Why do you dress like that? Intimidation, mainly. The work I do is not exactly looked upon favorably by the government, so I had to come up with a way to make sure I was left alone. The costume is just to make sure anyone who might happen to see me is scared off. So you knew of the rumors about the Reaper and decided to become him yourself? No, I'm the one who started them. Creating the image of death personified seemed a natural deterrent for anyone who might get too close. Thankfully, the rumors seem to have spread rather quickly over the years. You aren't kidding. There's a whole cult dedicated to worshipping you. Ah, uh, yes. I know of them. An extreme example, but I can't deny it helps my work. About your subject, can I try the cure? I'd like to, but it's far too risky. You are one of my greatest assets right now. If this proves to have any adverse side effects, I'll be without your help. Once I can mass produce this, I won't have to be so careful. How can we find the mass production information? Ideally, I could use my ravens to go in and locate it, but I only have three working ones left. And as you're well aware, Tiberius's tower is huge. It would take way too long for only three ravens to scan the entire place without being detected. Could I take a look at one of them? Of course. Who did you say made these? A uh, friend in the Ministry of Knowledge. But that was ages ago. I know very little about their design. It isn't too complex, actually. I can fix them for you, no problem. You can? Sure. See this bit here? That's the servo. The part that controls the wings. It's worn out, so I just need to replace it with a new one. Are those common? Would we be able to find one or more in the city? Well, I learned about them from working on toy airplanes that my friend had when we were kids. If we could find some, we'd be in business. Hmm. I wonder... Yes, excellent. As I suspected, there's a hobby shop which has remained mostly intact further in the city, and I can see that they have several model airplanes. Great, I'll go get them and fix your ravens in no time. Yes, but the store is located in the quarantine zone. So, I have nothing to worry about. I'm already infected. You contracting green lung isn't my concern. It's how you're going to get back out. The quarantine zone is designed to keep people from escaping. If I can find a way in, I'll just have to find a way out, won't I? Fine. While you're there, see if you can bring someone back with you. Someone who has been quarantined will make an ideal subject to test the cure on. I'll see what I can do. Good. Take this then. What is it? A two-way communicator. They used to call them walkie-talkies. We can use them to stay connected while you're in there. Can you tell me anything about Tiberius? Quite a bit. I've known him for a very long time. Since before the bombs, in fact. 
Was there anything specific you wanted to know? What was Tiberius like before the bombs? He was the director of the Ministry of Energy. Of course, back then he wasn't calling himself Tiberius. He was just Julian. After society collapsed, he took the initiative to reform and establish the aristocracy. His love for history led him to adopt the alias of Tiberius, as well as insisting the other aristocrats take the name of ancient Roman emperors. Why does he wear that awful mask? Anonymity. He felt government leaders are more respected as an institution rather than as people. I can't deny that this approach works extremely well. Was he always so evil? I wouldn't call him that. Manipulative, yes. Ruthless, undoubtedly. But not evil. He suffered immense trauma on the day the bombs fell. Everyone did. Not all of us had the wealth to recover so easily. Tiberius lost both his wife and unborn child that day. Wealth or not, that hits a man hard. It left him quite mentally unstable, to be honest. His determination to rebuild society was rooted in trying to cope with his loss. In a way, I felt pity for him, perhaps too much. What do you mean by that? Nothing. Never mind. Strange for him to have a soothsayer for an assistant. How is he qualified? Superstition is a very powerful force. I'm living proof of that. I never had many dealings with the soothsayer, but I believe he came from somewhere outside the city. Tiberius finds comfort in being able to have a channel to the supposed other side. While I don't share his beliefs, I can't particularly fault him for having them. That's all for now. Fair enough. I'll just get to it then. Good luck, Amy. By the way, that doorway back there will allow you to get up and down the tower much easier than climbing. Excuse me. Huh? What do you want? What is it you're doing out here? Transporting people into the quarantine zone. What does it look like? Aren't you worried about getting infected? Well, considering this is a lottery job, not really. I need to get inside the quarantine zone. Huh. You know, I think that's the first time I've ever heard anyone say that. Why on earth would you want to go into the quarantine zone? There's nothing in there except the sick and dying. I've got green lung. Is that so? You look pretty healthy to me. That may be, but I can assure you I've got it. Look, my orders are to take people in who are at the terminal phase, and you clearly aren't. So unless you can prove otherwise, my hands are tied. Why are you trying to get in there anyway? If I was you, I would avoid telling anyone I was sick. I have my reasons. I'm sure you do. Keep up the good work. Thanks. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Loud and clear. I need proof that I'm dying. A rather odd request. Yes, but if I'm going to get into the quarantine zone, I need the gatekeeper to think I'm sick enough. I may have a plan. I just hope you aren't faint of heart. Trust me, I'm not. Good. Go out and see if you can find someone who has recently died of green lung. Then use your communicator to let me know. I should be able to help you further from there. Okay, but how will I be able to tell if they died of green lung? Look for green sputum around the body and pustules around the wrists. Those are the two telltale signs. Everything going okay with you? Yes. How are you faring? Slowly, but surely, I'll be in touch. Over and out. Looks like he's got pustules on his wrists, and there's a small puddle of green goo on the ground next to him. This person was definitely a victim of green lung. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. I found our patient. Excellent. Where is the body located? In Sector 67, right near that painting. I'll meet you there shortly. Soul. Hopefully this sight will soon be a thing of the past. 
Step over there if you would, Amy. I need room to work. Here, take this. A severed arm? Yes. Notice the pustules around the wrist. Those are the telltale signs of the terminal phase of green lung. With some trickery on your part, you should be able to use this to get into the quarantine zone. Uh, okay. Thanks. Maybe this will help. Excuse me. Yeah? What is it? Take a look at this. Oh, jeez. You were kidding. We have to get you inside. Climb up on the card here and let's get a move on. This place. Well, well. Fresh meat. I beg your pardon? Welcome to the quarantine zone, honey. Now shut up, boys. What are you? So this is how things are going to work, okay? My guys are going to search you and take anything we like. Once we do that, you don't follow us or ever talk to us again. Curl up wherever you want and wait until you do. Anything good, Honor? Yeah, a crossbow, radio, baseball bat, a piece of metal, and a severed arm? Huh, it's always the clean ones that are the freaks. Let her keep her little toy. Take the rest. Let go of me! Enjoy your stay while you can. Well... I guess this is the best place for it. It's sealed up. I can't get inside. Oh god. Great. Twelve boxes still sealed. These servos will work perfectly. Amy? Not you two. Gordon? What happened to you? I didn't give my materials to the rebels. Instead, I took the aristocrats up on their deal for food vouchers. When I got sick, they threw me in here without a second thought. I thought I'd be taken care of. I should have at least tried helping Dan Tom. Maybe we wouldn't be here right now. And maybe my daughter wouldn't be out there alone. It's okay, Gordon. I'm working to try to get a permanent cure for everyone. A permanent cure? That can't be possible. It is. I've seen it. But even if that was true, we're stuck here. There's no way out. I'll find a way, I swear. Well, as a word of warning, stay away from the old supermarket. This lady named Rita hangs out there, and she's bad news. Thanks for the heads up, but I've already met her. Just don't go looking for trouble if you can help it. Hey, Gordon? Yeah? When did they put you in here? I don't know. I haven't been counting. Seems like forever. Wasn't too long after they put up those posters of you in the market. What did you do anyway? It's a long story, and now isn't the time. What's the deal with that Rita lady? I haven't dealt with her too much, but she seems like a bully. Didn't give me too much trouble when I came in, but then I didn't have much of value on me. Why would she take people's things? It's not like she can take them with her. Who knows? Maybe she's a hoarder. Any ideas on how to escape this place? Escape? From here? Come on, Amy. The quarantine zone is made to keep people in. Nobody's escaped before. Denby told me he'd done it. Amy, Denby told me he sewed his hoodie using Tiberius's wig hair. I know he's your friend, but I wouldn't put too much stock in his stories. Well, I'm not giving up that easily. I'm not dying in here. You don't really have much of a choice, I'm afraid. I'm gonna go, but I'll be back. I'll be here. Hey, didn't I tell you not to follow me? Turn around nice and slow and start walking. 
I'm here for my stuff. Is that right? Well, I guess I could give you back one of your bolts. Do you prefer it in your head or your heart? If those are my options, I'd prefer it up your ass. You do remember that I'm the one with the weapon at the moment, right? Now get out of here! You again? You're really pushing your luck. If you're so eager to die, I can help you with that. Rito, in a week you'll be dead, just like the rest of us. What's the point of this? I like stuff. Yeah, so does everyone else. And when you die, all this stuff won't matter anymore. You know what else I like? When people stay out of my business. Why don't you mosey on out of here now? You again? You're really pushing your luck. If you're so eager to die, I can help you with that. I need to escape from here. Do you know a way out? Escape? Huh. The only way out of here is through the dead disposal chute. You'll get your chance to escape through there next month. Just be sure you're dead by then. You done asking stupid questions now? Get your ass out of here. Hey, Gordon? Yeah? I think I know how to get us out of here. What are you talking about? The dead disposal chute. If we can open it, we can escape that way. That chute leads down to the incinerator. We die before we escape. We might as well just hang ourselves. At least it won't be as painful. Hear me out. Rita said that they wouldn't be disposing of bodies until next month. Tiberius is not the wasteful type. I doubt he'd allow for the incinerator to be on if it wasn't being used. I don't know. This still sounds risky. It is. But if we can help each other out and manage to escape, you'll be able to see Susan again. If not for me, at least try this for your daughter. Okay. Lead on. Think you can get it open? No good. It's sealed tight. What about that button up there? Of course. I saw them pushing bodies down the chute when I first got here. They press that button before opening the door. It's pretty high up there, though. Even if I gave you a boost, I don't think you could reach it. And there's nothing around we could use to stand on. I think this means I'm going to need to get my crossbow back from Rita. Need me to help you deal with her? No, I can settle this on my own. Huh, where did she go? What's going on in here? What? How did you... Rita, I saw... Oh shit. What the hell is wrong with you, Freddy? You were supposed to make sure nobody came in! I'm sorry, I was... I don't want excuses! Just get her out of here! Hang on, who is this? Nobody you need to worry about. Freddy, get her out of here! Relax, I'll take care of it. Don't get our sis even more upset than she already is. She's... your sister? Freddy! Go ahead, try and touch me. See how that goes for you. I'll leave you alone as soon as you give me back my crossbow. No, my sister and her baby need protecting. All this... stuff? Have you been stealing it to help your sister? You think anyone else in this rat hole is gonna do it? No, it's all up to me. If I can help you with your sister, will you give me back my crossbow? What are you, a doctor or something? No, but I know one, and I've got a direct line to him on that radio you took from me. Really? See for yourself. Hello? Is anyone there? Amy, is that you? No, my name is Rita. I'm here with... Amy, she says you're a doctor and that you can help. I am, and I'll do my best. What seems to be the problem? My sister is in labor and my brothers and I don't know what to do. I see. The first and most important thing you all need to do is relax. I'll guide you through every step of the process, but you'll need to listen carefully to my instructions. Uh, okay. Can you put Amy on, please? Sure. 
Hey, Doc. I can't imagine conditions in there are particularly hygienic. They aren't, no. Do you by any chance have access to water? Actually, yes. We're in an abandoned supermarket that's got plenty. Excellent. What about any sort of instruments like scissors or something sharp? Yeah, I've got a few here. Perfect. Amy, I need you to boil the water in order to sterilize the instruments. You'll need a container to keep the water in, and some way to heat it up. Do you think you can manage? I think so, yes. Good. Put Rita back on so I can tell her what to do. Here you go. I'm gonna go see about getting that water. Okay. Thank you, Amy. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm just gonna go get some air. I'll be back. Rita, can I take this kettle? Whatever helps. Go ahead. I probably shouldn't drink this, but I'll take a jug. Ah! I'll just fill it about halfway. isn't the way I was hoping to do this. Rita, here. I got you the boiling water. Great. Ricky, take over here a second. Hey, thank you for this. I'm sorry about earlier. I'm not normally like that. Don't worry about it. You were desperate. Yeah. Anyway, you kept your end of the deal, so here's your crossbow. I had a couple of bolts lying around, too. I figure you can use them more than I can. Thanks. Before I go... My friend is working on a permanent cure for Greenland. That's why I'm here. Say what? If all goes to plan, we'll have enough of it to cure everyone soon. You won't have to worry about staying here anymore. You're telling me this now? It's not like you were receptive to new information before. Just focus on helping your sister. Once I get back, your family will be safe soon enough. Thank you, Amy. And good luck. People don't stick around too long in them. Okay, this is the one shot that really counts. Nice going. I think we're ready. Would you do the honors? Thanks for the help, Gordon. I promise this will be worth it. I believe you. Even if I don't live to see my daughter again, at least I did something at the end. Oh no! Gordon, quick! Grab the sides! Amy! Where are you? Hanging off the end of the chute! Stay still, I'm coming! Oh, that was close. I guess I underestimated the Ministry of Energy. That door over there? I think that's the way out of here. You're probably right. Now we just need to figure out how to get over there. Shooting it won't help, but maybe... Right. Here I go. Amy! Are you okay? I'm fine. Now I just need to figure out a way to get you over here. This rope is still in good condition. I just need to untangle it. Right. One bolt on a rope. Coming up. Gordon, watch your head. Nice! I sure hope I can do this. Phew. 
That was a close one. Nice work back there. Thanks. Do you have any idea where we're going? Not yet, but if we're in a subway tunnel, we should be on the right path back outside the quarantine zone. No way I'm strong enough to move that. Gordon? Hmm? Gordon, could you help me move that debris? No problem. There you go. Thanks. Hmm, there's a rusty metal bar in here. Might be good for something. Come on, let's keep going. Well, how about that? You know where we are? I do. And it's time I told you something. What? Remember I said I had seen a permanent cure for Green Lung? There's a doctor waiting at the top of this building. He's got the cure. And he asked me to find someone who's terminal to be a test subject. I volunteered myself, but I still need to help him get his research for mass producing the cure once it's been tested, which is another issue entirely. I'm sorry I didn't mention all this before, but I wanted to be sure we could escape first. I know it's a lot to take in. What would I have to do? I'm not entirely sure. The doctor will be able to explain it to you. We don't know what the side effects might be, and there's a chance it might not even work, but we have to try. Do you want to go through with it? Amy, you've given me a second chance. I'll do anything to help cure Green Lung. Great. It's just up these stairs. Amy, you're back. And I brought a friend. Come on in, Gordon. Is... is that...? Dr. Edwin Aquino, pleasure to meet you. You're... the Reaper? You didn't tell him? I didn't think he'd believe me. Fair enough. Yes, the Reaper is a persona I created in order to do my work in secret. What's really important is that you volunteered to test my green lung cure. I cannot thank you enough, and I'm sure the entire population will feel the same way once they've been cured. So what is it you need me to do? I'll explain everything, but first, there's another matter I need to take care of. You said you were able to get the servos? I've got them right here. Good. How long do you think it will take to repair the birds? Less than an hour. Excellent. I'm going to take our friend into the next room and get him started on the treatment. I'll be back in a while to see how you're doing. Okay, I'll get to work then. Follow me, if you would. I think that should do it. We have one raven for each floor of the tower. We should be able to locate my research in no time. And now we watch and wait. Aha. There, through that window. Can you see? Yes, a bookcase being guarded. It's on the 36th floor. Now we just have to determine how you're going to get into the tower. That shouldn't be a problem. I know someone who's pretty good at figuring out ways to sneak into government buildings. Then I wish you luck, Amy. I'll be keeping an eye on you with the Ravens. If you need anything, I'll be here. Hello? Danton! Bruce, are you still in here? Amy? You're alive? I heard they had gotten you at Willowdale Plaza. They tried, but not hard enough. Have you had anything new in the works? We've been trying to lay low and plan our next move. I've tried recruiting new members, but we haven't had much luck. 
Word of the massacre in the market district is spread and the people are afraid to fight the aristocracy. It's maddening. I'm just itching to launch an attack on Tiberius, but we don't have the manpower required just yet. Sorry to hear that. Don't be. As long as we're breathing, we haven't lost hope. I'm breaking into Tiberius' tower. Can you help me? Come again? He's got the research to mass-produce a cure for green lung. We have to get it. Are you sure? Are you absolutely sure? I've been working with the doctor who developed it. He used to work for the Ministry of Medicine, but when he found out they were hoarding vaccine, he went rogue. Sounds like a good man. Why haven't I heard of him before? Surely you've heard of the Reaper. He created the disguise to work in secret. This, this is perfect. The opportunity to strike is finally here. Danton, wait. She tells you the Reaper is a doctor and you're just going to spring an attack? We don't have enough men or supplies to do this safely. We could lose everything. If we don't act now, we've already lost everything. How can you say no? We'd thwart Tiberius and cure Greenlung in one night. Because we can't do it. Danton, this isn't a game. People will die. You think I treat this like a game? It's because of me. Both of you, stop! No wonder this revolution hasn't gone anywhere. What would we need in order to mount an effective assault on the Ministry of Energy? We need to find an access point to sneak in. Going through the front doors would be suicide. Some way of approaching the tower from above or even underground would be ideal. We also need to find a way to lure the guards at the base of the tower outside. Yes, that's perfect. If we distract them, we can ambush them and weaken their defenses. Okay, so a way in and a distraction. I'm on it. Good. We'll begin preparing the troops. Time for me to go. Be careful. If you need a place to hide, you can always come back here. So you're back. Excuse me. What? Do you know if there's underground access to the Ministry of Energy? Of course. One of the subway lines ran right underneath the tower. You're not planning on sneaking in there, are you? I am, actually. What on earth for? It's a long story, but I need to get something from inside, and I can't go through the front door. Huh. Well, I'm not gonna ask any questions, but if you're set on it, give me a second. I'll be right back. Here you go. It's not to scale, but if you follow this map, it should take you to where you want to go. Thanks. I hope you know what you're doing. I'll just be on my way. Alrighty. Hey, Jess? What is it, Amy? I was wondering if you and your flock could help me. Of course, Amy. What do you need? I need to get inside the Ministry of Energy. But to do so, I'll need a distraction. Would you be able to provide one? A... distraction? Yes. I was thinking if you could stand outside the tower and play music or chant or something. You disappoint me, Amy. I thought you were better than that. I didn't mean to offend you. I just thought... I'm sure you did. In any case, unless the Reaper himself provides guidance on the matter, I won't see my people used as a mere distraction. I see. Have a good day. May death come to you swiftly, fellow Seeker. Hey, Doctor? Yes? Is Rita's sister all right? She's fine, as is her son. You did well in helping them, Amy. Rita sounded very grateful. Hopefully they'll be able to get out of there soon. Yes, hopefully. The quarantine zone is no place for a child. Can you come with me to the Cathedral of St. Stephen? What for? The Reaper cultists aren't cooperating, and I think you might be able to talk some sense into them. Hmm. Is this a good idea? Yes. I think it's about time they realize the truth about things. Fair enough. I'll meet you there soon. 
Jess, are you busy? We just finished our noon prayer. What is it? I need you outside, right now. Bring the others, it's important. If this is about your request, use us as a distraction. Please, just trust me. You and everyone else here, you need to see what's outside. Fine. Acolytes, Sister Amy has something she wants us all to see. So, what is it we're supposed to see? The Reaper. His worship. He's, he's finally here for us. Oh, blessed day. Please, your worship, take me first. I am ready to die. It will be an honor to die at your hands, your worship. Enough! It, it can't be. It can, and it is. I'm very sorry to disappoint, but you've all been worshiping a doctor in disguise. But how can that be? Everyone dies when you're near. My name is Dr. Aquino. I developed a cure for Green Lung by studying those who have died from it. This outfit was only intended to scare people away. I had no idea it would have such an effect on all of you. I saw you. You were bent over Wilson's body. He had just died. You took his arm. Yes, I remember you. You stared at me, and I was afraid you would approach. I am sorry for the trickery. I had no idea this would happen. So what do we do now? I was ready to die with you, you imposter! Just kill me! Kill me now! Everyone, just stop! Don't you get it? He has a cure for Green Lung. Nobody has to die anymore. Nobody! She speaks the truth. All I need to cure everyone are my research notes from Tiberius's tower. We need help sneaking inside. If you can help us distract the guards, we can do it and get what we need. If we distract the guards, we'll probably die there. How can you tell us we have hope to survive by doing the most dangerous thing possible? Ten minutes ago, you were praying for death. Why not die helping your families, your town, yourselves? Jess, you've led all these people to believe that there's something better after death, and that there's a promised land. Why not help the world we live in become that promised land? I... I'll do it. Wonderful. Then meet at the Ministry of Energy this evening. We'll do all we can to keep you safe. Amy, I'll see you once you've gotten my research. Count on it. Thank you all. I'll see you tonight. Danton? What is it, Amy? I've got everything we need to assault Tiberius's tower. Are you absolutely sure? Positive. The Reaper cultists will provide the distraction we need, and I've got a map showing how to access the tower from underground. Excellent. We have no time to lose. Bruce, go get Amy those bolts from the weapons cache. She'll need as many as we can spare. I really hope you know what you're doing. Don't mind him, Amy. He doesn't fully understand the importance of this opportunity. You've done well. Soon, the aristocracy will be remembered as nothing more than a bad dream. Here, this should be enough to keep you safe. Thanks. Good. Bruce, you'll lead the ambush team. Amy and I will follow her map and enter the tower from below. Once the distraction is in place, I want you to unleash hell. The aristocracy must feel the sting of our blades. Don't worry. We'll have you covered. Good luck to you. I look forward to celebrating our victory. Likewise. Here, according to the map, we should be right underneath the tower. Hmm. I can't see any way to get inside. There has to be. I'll have a look around. Nice work. This should be a good way in. Are you ready? Yes. Head up and see where the trapdoor leads. I'll radio Bruce and make sure everyone is in position. Right. Rejoice, rejoice, for the Reaper is near. 
Soon this life will be but a memory, and the spoils of the Promised Land will be everyone's for the taking. Brothers and sisters, join me in adoration of our savior! Here now, this is private property. You'll need to take your celebration somewhere else. But, brother, our mission is to spread the word of the Reaper across the land. Be that as it may, you are not allowed to gather here. Please disperse at once. Ah, you are fortunate. You will soon know the Reaper. How I envy you. What are you... What the? Sounds like some kind of commotion outside. Come on, we'd better check it out. Inside the belly of the beast at last. Disgusting. We'll have much to change when we come into power. Right, enough dawdling. We need to get moving. Lead the way, Amy. Come on, the elevators are this way. We're getting through that elevator. I suggest you surrender now. Fine, we'll do this the hard way then. for the help. He was a tough one. Don't mention it. Dr. Aquino said the research was kept on the 36th floor, so that's our next stop. After you. How are you feeling? Just fine. Just fine? You're not scared or worried or anything? I've been scared too much in my life, Amy. So has everyone else. It's why we're in this situation. We could die today, you know. Maybe, but my last moments will be spent ridding the world of tyranny. If anything happens, I have this car I'm fixing. Could you make sure my friend Gordon gets it? Of course. In the event of my passing, return my hat to Bruce. Our mother will need to know. Sure. Is that what you're looking for over there? Yes, but when I saw it at Dr. Aquino's, it was being guarded. Hmm, something about this doesn't feel right. See what you can find. I'll cover you from here. No, no! What's the matter? There's nothing here. Dr. Aquino's notebook is gone. No, that can't be. It can't just have vanished. Tiberius must have taken it somewhere else. We'll find him and we'll make him tell us where it is. Come on, we've just got a few floors left to go. All right, let's keep heading up. Right behind you. Don't worry, Amy, we're almost there. I can't wait to see the look on Tiberius' face when... What was that? Damn, the elevator stopped. They must have realized where we are. We've got to get out of here. We're sitting ducks. I'm gonna try and pry the door open. Maybe we can escape that way. Ah, excellent. We can climb up to the next floor and figure out a way to keep going from there. More guards? Just what is Tiberius afraid of? No matter. Danton, wait! Stand down, wighead scum! The bolt just bounced off. Nice going, Amy. You'd make your father proud. Okay, shouldn't be much further now. Are you ready? 
Just one second. I need to check in with Bruce. Bruce, come in Bruce. Do you copy? Hmm, there's a lot of dead down there. Hard to tell from up here, but I think they're mostly guards. We need to move. They'll be coming for us. Come on, let's go! What? Who are... Where is Tiberius? And where is he keeping the green lung research? You! You are Danton! At your service. I won't ask politely again. Where is Tiberius and where is he keeping the research? He... he's up those stairs. He has the research with him. He was planning on using it as a bargaining chip. But please, have mercy. Tiberius is not well. He... believes things are not as they are. What are you talking about? I took advantage of his weaknesses. I have not been honest with him about my abilities. A fraud psychic. How original. I am not proud of what I have done. Please, I beg of you, spare my life. I promise to atone for my mistakes. But I implore you, be gentle with Tiberius. He doesn't understand the truth. This guy's a real piece of work. What do you think, Amy? Should we spare him? His lies have only warped Tiberius further. The dead deserve justice. A wise decision. No, please! Come on, we're almost done. Do not fret, we aren't in any danger. The rebels will be defeated. Soon things will go back to exactly as they were, and it will be as though none of this ever happened. I love you too, son. Tiberius, your time is nearly over. Ah, you must be the elusive Danton. And Miss Weller, you're still alive. No thanks to you. Esteemed guests, how lovely of you to break into my home. What is it you want? We're putting an end to your reign, Tiberius. This all ends right here, right now. How cute of you! Do you think you can waltz in here and fix this city's problems simply by killing me? It's a start. Do you really think the aristocracy will end with me, that it cannot function on its own? A government has no strength without its head. I'm taking over. Oh, and how do you intend to do that? By becoming you. What? I will wear your mask and clothes. I will become the new Tiberius. Then I will bring down the aristocracy from the inside. How delightfully idealistic! Tell me, how much blood will stain your hands in pursuit of this goal? Less than yours. And if you do manage to bring about this change you so desire, how will you handle the plague or outside forces who wish to attack? Green Lung won't be a problem for much longer. We know you've got the research to mass produce a cure. Your old friend, Dr. Aquino, will see to that. He lives as well? Yes, he's the Reaper. <laughs> of course. It makes perfect sense. I think this little charade has gone on long enough. I couldn't agree more. No! Watch where you... My boy, my sweet, wonderful boy, how could you? You detestable hag, do you realize what you've done? Oh, my beautiful boy, my only son. That thing is your son? Hold your tongue or I will feed it to the ravens, Willard. So that's what the soothsayer meant when he said... Oh, God. Do you see, Tiberius? This is the real world. Your family is dead. The city is a mess. Your delusions hurt everyone around you. Amy, this is up to you. Set your sights on his heart. Go ahead, Amy. Finish him off. Put the pathetic creature out of his misery so we can rebuild. 
Miss Willard, you cannot let her be in charge of a new government. She will ruin more than she will build. If you spare me, I will make sure that you and those you hold dear are taken care of. You'll want for nothing. Order must be maintained, but we can make things better, slowly, peacefully. Don't listen to any more of his lies, Amy. Only a flood can fix a drought. <laughs> this will change nothing. Good work, Amy. You made the right... Wait, what are you doing? Saving our country. I'm sorry it had to end this way. For both of you. So. So? I got your research. Indeed. And so much more. That was quite the impressive display. So what happens now? At the very least, we cure Greenlung. After that, I have no idea. There's still the other aristocrats to deal with. Yes, and the question of who will govern the people. Please stop looking at me like that. I am no leader. Consider what you've done in the past few weeks. How quickly you've risen. The city needs someone like you, Amy. I'll do it, but on one condition. I want you to rule with me. Oh? Sure. You have connections in the other ministries. Help me take Tiberius's place and convince the remaining aristocrats to form a better government. Introduce a bit of uncertainty. Hmm. Are you sure that's what the people will want? The people want their lives back. I think we can deliver that. Interesting. I think it will take a lot of work, but we can definitely build a better future for this city. Which reminds me. What's this? A carburetor and spark plugs. Designed to fit an older model vehicle. They were just laying around. I... I... Thank you. Don't mention it. Now I think we should part ways for the time being. We both have a lot of work to do. I should have the cure ready in a few days. I'd be honored if you were my first patient. It would be my pleasure. Take care of yourself, Amy. November 9th. 21 years since the bombs fell. Growing up, I thought my biggest headache would be gas leaks and carburetors. Now I worry about national food supplies. Still, it was worth seeing the party in the streets when Greenlung was finally cured. Dr. Aquino is confident our industry will be back in the next five years at this rate. I certainly hope so. Sometimes, I miss the old days, when I could just fix cars and stop for a chat with my friends. But at least now, when I look out over the market, I can see them all smiling back at me. Shadows rise, gonna hide from the emerald skies that shine. 